Japanese commercials. Easiest money you'll ever make. <laughs> Grand Larson is right up there. You ready for this? No worries. I do my own stunts. Hey, you're just a ride along, man. So don't get all Hong Kong style in there. I am a method actor. If I'm gonna play a saint with any degree of emotional truth, I gotta make it real. Trust me, Burke. It'll be real. You're robbing a bank dressed like yourselves. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want to be Johnny Gat? Ultra postmodernism. I love it. I'm cool with the Saints movie, but do we really gotta drag this asshole actor around? Cut Josh some slack. He's just researching his part. Yeah, I hope he signed a waiver. All right, people. Nobody moves! Nobody dies! Burke! Sorry, jumps his line. Can we, uh, can we go again? You all know the drill. Can I get a picture with the boss? Say sleaze. Get in line, bitch. Hey, don't be a dick. Would you call yourself gangbangers? You're a bunch of pussies. We should be all up in their shit like... Fuck! <laughs> oh, that's different. Got a plan, and we just shooting all these motherfuckers. That is my plan. Works for me. Someone knock them down. Where's the ball? Go to hell. You want to play, motherfucker? Ah! Ah! Oh my God! You couldn't wait to kill him until we found out who these guys are. Uh, we're gonna die? What happened to I do? My own stunts. Hey, hey, do these look like scripts to you? All right, people, let's find that ball. That's right, you fuckers! We're coming for ya! Look! Ow! Oh, oh, Jesus. Get up, Burke. Let's keep moving. I can't believe you launched that guy into a statue! I can't believe you're still thinking about it. Do you want to know who these people are? Listen, all that matters is the ball. Let's find that and get the hell out of here. Is this what it's normally like? Well, normally, the talent don't use fucking shotguns. Yeah, normally banks don't look like a palace either. You see those statues before you blew them up? Will you forget the horses? These guards are packing military-grade hardware. Who the hell are we robbing? Oh. Ah, ah, I can't breathe. <sighs> no way we're cracking this thing. Ready for plan B? Yep. Josh, get over here. Got the tools right here, Holmes. So, uh, what's plan B, huh? We drill it? <laughs> Fuck no. We blow it. What? D not cool, man! Time to get to work. We'll need to set those above the vault. Hey, I think we've got company. Looks like they're coming in from the lobby. You wanna play, motherfucker? Shondi. Why? Oh my god! You're the same! You have to sign this for me! Anything for a fan. Hey, Josh Burke. Don't be starstruck. I'm very approachable. You want me to, uh, sign your breasts? Uh, no. That's alright. Yeah, you know. Buy Night Blade on DVD.
get the chopper and lift this baby out of here. Hey guys, you can call up the helicopter. Found the way to open the vault. Don't touch it! Josh, are you trying to get us all jail time? What? I don't want to be some dude's bitch. Do I have to go after him? Forget about it, he'll be fine. How long until the chopper gets here? I don't know. Probably like two waves of SWAT guys. Sounds about right. Here they come! Flashbang! You think you can stop us? You really had something there. Oh, don't even go there. Hey, the same. Take him out. Just gotta hold out a little longer. They you wanna play, motherfucker? Who are these guys? A bunch of assholes. Shoot the helicopter. Use whatever you've got. You think you can stop us? Here's our ride. And you? I'm staying with the boat. We'll see you when we touch down. All right, let's go. Hold her steady. Where did the security come from? Stay calm and stick to the plan. <laughs> Thought I shot that thing down. Are we still here? The controls aren't responding! They got it fixed! I'll hold off the cops! I can't kill them all! I don't appreciate that kind of negativity. Armor's on that damn thing! Jesus! Damn it, watch where you're flying! Well, 
Oh, shit. Turn to the side. What is this? We paid up this month. Someone paid more. What happened? We got arrested. No, to us. Burke's right. We traded our dicks in for pussies. Seriously. Movie deals, commercials. Saint's name used to mean something more than body spray and some ass tasting energy drink. Our brand's worth a shitload of money. Is that what it's all about? It's always about the money, Mr. Gat. Which is precisely why our employer wishes to speak with you. If you'll indulge us. You have any idea who you're fucking with here? Of course. A remarkable likeness. These visions are Viola and Kiki, and I am Philippe Laurent, chairman of a multinational organization called The Syndicate. Never heard of it. Evidently not, or you would not have robbed our bank. Perhaps you wonder why you are still breathing at this point. Actually, I wonder why my foot's not up your ass at this point. <laughs> like it or not, Mr. Gatt, our organization is expanding into still water. I am offering you the chance to leverage your assets against your lives. Ladies? You may continue to operate the Saints Old Tour Media Group as you see fit, in exchange for 66% of your monthly gross revenue. That is before taxes, of course. Listen, you French fuck. Please. I am Belgian. So make yourself a fucking waffle. We done here. And I had so hoped to come to a rational business arrangement. Just cover the boss. Go. I got this. We can't leave Johnny. Guy can take care of himself. We gotta deal with these guys. Attention, passengers. This is your new captain speaking. Our updated flight plan has us landing in Stillwater. I'd like to remind all passengers to remain seated and enjoy the flight. Great. Who gave God a mic? It's easy to open! Oh, I can see some of our passengers are getting restless. Here's some relaxing music for your enjoyment. Yo, I'm opening the cargo bay doors. Find some chutes and jump out the back. It should be clear. <laughs> My apologies. Your captain is having troubles finding the clutch. All right, motherfuckers. The on him! I am Belgian. Same thing. I am going to cut that disrespectful tongue from your mouth. Oh, yeah? You and how many of you? Oh, that many. Okay, that was impressive. We're about to jump! Right on. I'll see you in still. Johnny?
did you come from? Really? Now you're mine. Ugh. Nothing slows me down. to the best. You can't leave. Shit was in that plane. Gotcha. Huh. You're a fucking asshole. Okay, I deserve that. Gentlemen, negotiations were less than successful. Viola and Kiki will spread the word. Steelport belongs to the Syndicate, and the Saints are not welcome. Mr. Kilbane, gather your luchadores and bring me their leader's head. Mr. Miller, hack into the Saints' accounts and leave them nothing. Pay for this. We'll need a car. 
Sean, do you got any idea where we are? Steelport. It's kind of like Bangkok's abusive father. Been here before? Spring break. Great. What the fuck does field boss mean? You don't want to know. Okay, whatever. You know where we're going? Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. So, about getting a gun. Why don't you just look up friendly fire on your phone? What? It has GPS, right? Check your map. Wow, that still exists? What? That's where I used to score weed. We should let Pierce know what's up. I texted him. He's bringing the crew. Looks like we'll need more guns. Any ideas? Yeah, we raid the guard armory. They have one of those here? Right on. You can't be serious. We need guns, they have guns. I don't see the problem. Getting shot comes to mind. Blah, blah, bullets, blah, blah, blah. I just flew through a fucking plane. Also a shitty idea. Whoa, Pierce, where'd you come from? I thought I was talking to Shandy. Not cool. Because, I mean, Pierce, well, I mean, that guy bitches about everything and... All right, all right. We'll pick a fight with the military. Good times. Anyone from the spring break days still live around here? Yeah, I keep up with one of my exes. Is place big enough for the crew? I already offered it to Pierce and the boys. Eh, that doesn't really answer the question. I know. Here's the cash I have on me. Where's this armory? Not far, it's on the GPS. Piece of crap! Watch it, douchebag! All right, the gun should all be in that warehouse. Great. How are we moving everything? Maybe you should have thought about that before attacking an armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, how are we gonna do it? Don't worry, Pierce has that covered. Let's do this. Guess they're not letting us in. Shooting them probably doesn't help change their minds. Jeez, look at the size of that thing. Bet that's a hell of a way to end a gunfight. Good idea. I'll take it with and find out. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Okay, that was impressive. Here's the weapons cache, and these look like UAV drone controls over here. Looks like UAV drone controls. Who the fuck says that? Okay, is this really the time? I'm just saying.
are so dangerous they need to. Really seemed like a better idea earlier on. You think? Pierce, where are you? You know me. I love to make an entrance. If we're staying, maybe it's time to try those UAV drones. Again with the UAV drones. Just shut up and use the damn things. Why are we getting the hell out of here? The boss won't leave without the bomb. You gotta be kidding me. Less bitching, more shooting. Don't worry, I got a plan. How's it coming, Pierce? Almost packed up. Sooner the better. Maybe? What you guys waiting for? So what's next? What's next is you go back to Stillwater. Oh, this is my fight, too. Girl, you don't get messy. Let us take care of business. Fuck you. I'm doing this for Johnny. All right. Well, if we're gonna bring in the boys, we're gonna need a new place. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Relax, Shandi. We got it all covered.
I appreciate this. Leave that car. How's the crew settling in? Man, we gotta get a new place. That studio shit ain't working at all. Oh, spend too much time in posh hotels? <laughs> I can't help it that the rest of the world treats the saints right. Doesn't mean we should get soft. I hear you. Listen, how about you and me roll around the city and see what Steelport has to offer? You convince me. Just meet me at the park. I'll pick you up. This car could use a little tuning. Let's find a rim jobs and get it cleaned up. Hey, that's real. <laughs> I must still have some purpose hey, on Shandy's this taking this thing with Gap pretty hard. And we all are. I know, but you're always pissed off. Our girl's not as crazy as you. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. How long were you rolling with Gat anyway? Long time. He was there when I first joined the Saints. Shit. What was he like back then? He mellowed with age. Until Aisha died. And he was fucking pissed. Cars got some more style. Now it's our turn. Head to Planet Saints. I don't know, man. That's like wearing the band's T-shirt to the concert. Nothing wrong with wanting to look good. Hey, I always look good. We need some driving music. See if you can find something good.
time to go. What the fuck is that thing? Something very pissed off. This guy means business. You think? He flipped a fucking car! He on steroids or something? I'd go with or something. Time to tip on out of here. No doubt! That big fucker wasn't normal. Yo, you think? I've seen some scary motherfuckers, but the way he was shrugging off bullets? Something wasn't right. At least he's dead. I hear that. Saints bleed. Are you trying to leave? Let's see what you got. You're supposed to be looking for Loren, not going house hunting. See, that's the beauty of this place. It's owned by the Morning Star. All right, I'm listening. The Morning Star have a penthouse downtown where they're throwing some big party for their global contacts. And their real estate agent will be there, right? Real funny. I was going to say we crash the party, kill the Morning Star, and keep the place for the Saints. Ha. I'm game. What's the plan? The Saints will be downstairs until you can unlock the elevator for them to come up. Oh, wait. If I can't go up, then how will I... Oh. Right, penthouses. That's right. Meet me at the airport. What you thinking? Some asshole is in my pool. 
The crew's ready downstairs. Say the word and we crash the party. Let's do it. All right, you're clear. I really gotta stop doing this shit. <clears throat> Shandi, I'm in. As soon as I find someone with the elevator code, I'll unlock it. Just give the word, boss. What's the code at the freight elevator? Go to hell! Oh, I love it when people say that. Fine, code's 3131. Just watch the jacket. No one invited you. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! I see Russia. Oh! Just run. You did it! Whoa! Damn! Pierce picked a nice place for the crew. Ooh, that gets the blood pumping. To my loins! Oh! Nothing some explosives can't handle. Look at all this shit. No way they're giving this up without a fight. What the hell's going on over there? Murder time! Fun time! Ready to crash a party? We're coming up. Keep the door clear. of these bastards out of our new place. Easy enough. Boss, guys I didn't expect anything less from you. Get them off me. Stay out of danger. I need back off. You're fearless. Will someone protect me? Shandy. Good news? We've cleared him out. Bad news? The boys are saying this place is rigged to blow. Well, shit. Where's that guy in the helicopter going? I bet he knows how to disarm this place. Then try not to kill him. Shandy, you got the place cleaned up yet? What do I look like, the damn maid? So, that's a no, then. We're sitting on a bomb here, and you're making jokes. Someone needs a nap.
Just finished cleaning up. I'll get the codes. Nope. No codes. Just four wires. Red, green, blue, and black. Yeah, I'll get back to you then. You lost to the best. Damn it, I don't have time for these assholes. Use the bomb. The red wire. Cut the red wire. Good boy. Shondi, cut the red one. The Saints aren't going to back down. Maddie, there's nothing to worry about. I thought exactly, Mr. Kilbane. The Saints are no more than a white noise of empty threats. With respect, sir. I'd say empty is no longer applicable. What you got in mind? Head to the crib. I found something you should see. This better be worth my time. I think... Check it out, boss. What's up? Since this used to be a syndicate crib, thought I'd poke around and see what they left behind. All right, so what am I looking at? Safety deposit keys. Now, don't you want to know what it is they all got locked up? The syndicate will know we have the keys. They'll be waiting for us to make a move. Well, I guess then you better watch my back. All right, let's go. What's the plan here? I'm gonna go in, open the safety deposit boxes, get the shit, and then come out. You think it'll be that simple? Fuck no. Didn't think so. Just be ready when I come out. Nothing to worry about, trust me. All right, I'm coming out now. Keep my ass covered till I can find somewhere to hide. On it. You got what we went in for? Hell yeah. Another 
roadblock. <laughs> Still got it. The building is just over the bridge. Right, I'll find a place to set up. She's confident. I'm late! Old Tora sent over a couple of pallets of Saints merch. Maybe we should do a little advertising around town, you know, pimp the Saints and steal for it. Don't we have a PR department for that? People go crazy over actual celebrities promoting themselves. Uh, so you're saying it has to be me? Oh, I'll do the selling. You just get my back. And I have the perfect places to hit. I can make money on her. So how do we know where to sell? Mm. Let's cut right to the heart of this shit. And hit the Morning Star territory. How do you know where that is? The documents we got with those keys gave up a whole lot. Ballsy. I like it. What sort of things we have to sell off? Got some basic merchandise. You know, like shirts and lunch boxes. That hit? Well, there's always my demo tape. So we have a bunch of shit, is what you're saying. Shit. We can take Maybe we should reassess this situation.
on closing the deal? Yeah. Hold the gun to their head. I don't think that'll work. Oh, hey, hit it harder next time. This ain't a demo derby. Not bad, boss. Of this Pierce. Fuck right I am. You know, if banging doesn't work out, you can always get a job at Planet Saints. Not nah, cool. Just like old times. No, <laughs> you love breaking shit. up another time. Gotta work on my technique. Yeah, I think the Morning Star got the message we're around. Just glad I'm in the vehicle. You always drive this bad? some store that'll cause more problems than it's worth i'm saying we buy one from the morning star yeah because they'll jump at the chance to sell to us nope because we already have the deed come again we take the deed from the lockbox and purchase the store in our name instead well, if they can't argue
So, friendly fire? Yep. Best thing is, owning it gives us a discount. Nice. This city's full of businesses and buildings we could snatch up. The more we take from the syndicate, the better. Right. Though we're gonna need Steelport on our side, too. Drive around and see if we got any fans here. What, what the hell is this? Oh, that? A little hobby of mine. Uh, okay, I'm out of here. See, I don't mean it like that. They're collectible. You're supposed to try and find them all. People collect some weird shit. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I have the need to shoot something now. What other deeds were in that box? An apartment building. Didn't I already get us a new place? <laughs> Brick and mortar, baby. Real estate is cheap. Huh. Take more money out of the syndicate's pocket and into ours. I like it. some style. I've seen Morningstar all over the city doing deals and shit. Sounds perfect. We wipe them off a corner, they'll think twice about coming back. It's the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! Know anywhere else they do business? Yeah, up to the north. Head to friendly fire. That should get them to back off. Why would a gun store get them to back off? Because we own it. So we got boys protecting it. Any place the Saints own should be able to take the heat off you. Good to know.
Shit up. Go on, I'm all ears. Found the route the Morningstar uses to deliver their goods buried in the syndicate files. You're saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck that! I'm saying we use the tank. This may be the best idea you've ever had. enough damage. I thought we already were. Oh, not like this. You've been personally selected for a spot on a game show here in town. Game show? You're not trying to auction me off on some dating thing, are you? Trust me, you'll love this shit. Meet me and I'll show you. You better be right. Steelport, and welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Time to see how the game is played. Fight your way through Professor Genki's Super Sparkle Lab for fun and profit. Now, with every man, woman, and tiger shot, your prize money goes up. But look out, no one likes it when you shoot a panel. On it, unethical. Once you've collected enough money, the door to the lab opens up, and you're free to go. But if you think it's that easy, you've never seen Kinky before. Oh, and one more thing. On this show, no one gets to take a break. If you want to stay in the fight, be sure to shoot the first aid target. Good luck. It's murder time. Fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? 
You got it, Zack. If our contestants can survive the deadly traps, armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, they can win a hefty pile of cash. This game looks deadly, because it is. <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. <laughs> our competitor isn't from Steelport this time, Zack. Today, we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world-famous Stillwater Street Gang. As many times as this former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over and generally put through hell this competition probably seems pretty routine um routine maybe but lucrative you are going to make professor genki sized dollars driving hose around Ooh. that's for sure Cha-ching. what's the voltage on those things <laughs> like sticking a fork in a socket what the fans pay to see. Cash in pocket! Another great burst of action by the contestant. I'd hate to be a mascot facing Cash this contestant. So, Bobby, how do you clean sewage out of a convertible? With a toothbrush. Really? No, I let the rental company take care of it. Are you kidding me? Oh, wasn't that kind of shitty of you? Not as shitty as what this contestant is doing. And that's it! We have a winner! I'm surprised the syndicate is still standing after all this shit we've thrown at him. I don't see a reason to stop. Not saying we should. All right. Then see you at the broken shillelagh. This doesn't seem like your kind of place, Pierce. What's the hate? The beer is cheap, and I'm the best looking motherfucker in here. Look, you may think it's time to kick back, but I'm done toying with these bastards. I want Loren, and I want him now. So where is he? No idea. But 10K says he's hiding out in that big ass skyscraper. Nah, uh, Loren's a tactician. He's not gonna hole up in a building that screams, I'm a criminal mastermind. I need something concrete. To hit up powder. No, I don't have time for a stripper. No, Powder's a designer gun store downtown. I saw some of Loren's thugs talking to the owner. There's gotta be something there. All right, let's go shopping. <laughs> Hope you got insurance. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I don't need my car. Shandy, give me good news. We're gonna burn powder to the ground. That's a little extreme. See you there. Shandy, wait. Oh, boy.
lot of people with guns in there. We'll go in the back way. You don't think the back's guarded? There's like two punks. What about the inside, motherfucker? Put in your tampons and let's do this. Loren. Let's head to the office and see if they're hiding under their desks. This can't be good. Minigun! Close me down. Giving him a choice. Guess the manager cleared out. I'll get what I can off the computer.
Pierce, we've waited long enough. Now we go for Loren. It won't be easy. That whole tower's gotta be crawling with Morningstar. Since when have we done things the easy way? True. So what's the plan? Kill everyone we see and find Loren? Makes sense. Meet me at the penthouse. I'll call Shandy. Shandy, it's time. Just tell me where to be. We're meeting at the penthouse. I am gonna kill that son of a bitch. Don't worry. You won't get away this time. You bet your ass he won't. Uh, that's a little big for you. Give me the goddamn gun, Pierce. Okay. All right, let's give that motherfucker what's coming to him. You sure you want to do this, Shandi? Don't worry about me. I need this. Loren has to pay for what he did, and I want to be there when he gets what he deserves. No worries, girl. We're not stopping with Loren. We're taking out his whole fucking syndicate. I think we'll need to do a little more than kill one guy to do that. We didn't steal that bomb for nothing. Seriously? How hard do you think finding Philippe will be? Come on, he's a criminal mastermind. He's got to be on the top floor. It's like a rule. You think he's going to be that cliche? Doesn't matter. We're killing everyone in there. Don't you see? You sure the crew has the right address for our delivery? Oh, it's all taken care of. As soon as we make sure the loading dock is clear, they'll drive it in. I'll catch you. How many times you gonna check that gun? How long is it gonna take us to get there? I was just asking. Save it for Lorenz goons. They ain't fucking around here. Pay for this. I'll rush them. Ah, still got it. Shit, they have snipers in here. You think all packages are this hard to drop off here? Ha ha, can you just shoot them? Here's our delivery now. Let's get this over with. Bomb set and the clock's ticking. Why didn't we wait to do that until after we kill Loren? That's a really good question. We should move. What did you do? It wasn't me. It just stopped.
those big guys we keep seeing? Clones? Makes sense to me. What? Uh, okay, maybe make sense was too strong. I am the greatest! You ain't lost a step! What should we call these guys? Who cares? They're blowing up at the rest of this place. How about bricks? They hit like they're made of the stuff. Bricks? Really? All right. What would you call them? John! You ain't getting how this works, are you? I'm the fire! I knew this wouldn't be easy. Jesus. What the hell is all this? Philip likes his things custom made. And for his brutes, I am the master pattern, you see. Why are you still strung up if they already cloned your ass? The copies are flawed. They have my brawn, but not my brain. I can help you. The last time a big naked dude said he could help me, it did not end well. What could he do anyway? Those wires and shit are probably keeping him alive. Trust me. I'm still strong enough to kill Philippe. You want some clothes, man? No time. Man. Like I said, last time a big naked dude. This elevator will take us to the offices. Follow me to Philip's office. Seriously, man, you know, if you want, I can find you like a curtain or something for you, you know? The human body is nothing to be ashamed of, unless you have insecurities I'm good what did you do before you were a glorified pincushion I think it's best for our friendship I never elaborate just know that the enemy of your enemy is your friend as long as you oppose the syndicate you have nothing to fear from me works for me welcome to this Lorenz office is this way That's an express elevator to the basement. There's no way to catch him. Fuck that. Knock this thing loose! I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one! Hurry it up! He's getting away! Where did they come from? Oh! Oh! The Saints are gonna own this city. Damn it! 
should have thought of a Belgian pancake joke. Time to blow this place to hell. I hate this place more than anyone, but it would be folly to destroy Philip's research without seeing what we can harvest from it. We came here to send a message, didn't we? Why not keep the building for yourself? Your choice here, boss. We're gonna have to do something about the pink. You'd prefer a more manly shade, like purple? When I left Stillwater for the Senate, I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. My husband gave his life defending Stillwater from gang violence. It is my greatest privilege to honor him with this bridge. What the... spot boys Whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They're Killbane's thugs. Kill who? He's the Syndicate's attack dog. What he did to Johnny's funeral, that's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about rules of engagement. Uh, no rules? I can work with that. You're not ready to fight the Syndicate. Watch us. Just relax, Shandi. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war! All right, who's first? Picking up a girl named Kenzie Kensington. The Deckers are holding her on a barge on the river. What's her deal? Oleg said she was with the FBI. The fuck you say? Don't stress. She was kicked out. So we're getting a shitty fat. Aw, oh, don't start hating because we're getting a new girl. Are you serious? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm not jealous. Who said jealous? That's all on you, girl? Oh, my God. Flirt later. Why was Kenzie booted? Oleg didn't give me all the details, but he made it sound like Kenzie was about to out the syndicate, so the Deckers set her up for a fall. Oh, I hope she's worth the hassle. Only one way to find out. You gotta get on that barge. Challenge. What the hell are these guys wearing? Seriously, Neo Cyberpunk fashion was so three years ago. What? Yeah, focus on fighting the Fed. Ugh. <laughs> 
Kenzie Kensington? Yep. You don't seem that excited about being rescued. I'm waiting to see if you were sent to kill me. The girl's pragmatic. I like her. So what do you want with me? You don't look like feds. We heard that you know some people who hate the syndicate as much as we do. Well, the DeWinters are keeping Zemos at safe word. What? The DeWinters are the twin sisters that run prostitution in Steelport. Zemos was their competition, so the sisters locked him up. And safe word is just a BDSM club that caters to various acts of perversion. The name comes from... Ah, we got it. Mine's Teacup. I'll get her out of here. Have fun at the Gimp Show. Save it for the family. Thanks for freeing me. You and the Zemo guy makes two. Usually I get three people to help me. I think I know someone who'd help, but I gotta find him first. I'll call you when I have a location. You ever been to one of these clubs? I look like I go to one of those clubs. I was just saying, you know, powerful guy, stressful job. Stop talking. That's what I thought. Shut up. How the hell are we supposed to find this guy? Shake people down? Someone's gotta know where they're keeping our boy. New slaves are great kind of brave. You got an angry woman coming at you. Tell me where Zemo says or I'm gonna beat you stupid. <sighs> oh, yes! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The manager's upstairs. He no. Just hit me. <sighs> I've been bad. No slave dares wear clothes. You the manager? I don't know anything. I'm just here for a bachelor party. Ugh. If I say anything, the DeWinter sisters will cut me off. If you don't say anything, something else is getting cut off. He's in the pony barn. All right. Watch your ass. Oh. I get him for you. Oh. 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 I never see this place again. It'll be too soon. Yeah. I need to get some hand sanitizer after this. Don't worry. We'll get a box of that shit. How are we gonna find Zemos? Look for the cat in here who isn't excited to be eating a ball gag? Or just look for the guy with the rhinestone Z on his back. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, well, shit. That's convenient. They went this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> we don't got time, Zemos. Mush! <laughs> of a challenge. Can't this guy go any faster? I don't think it works that way. Sorry about making you, you know, pull us around. This is a rescue, right? <laughs> this ain't some elaborate setup for a gang bang. Why you gotta put that image in my head, bro? Oh, I'll go with rescue then. <laughs> I would shake your hands, but them floors were a little sticky, if you know what I'm saying. I'm good. Find a moist towelette or something. Oh, what's up? 
I found the guy I was talking about. His name is Angel de la Muerte. He was Kilbane's tag team partner until he went crazy. Well, until Angel went crazy or Kilbane went crazy? I should probably look into that. The point is, Angel hates Kilbane more than you do. He should be willing to help. Where do I find him? That's the tricky part. The luchadors are attacking him at the gym right now. You should probably hurry before he gets killed. Why didn't you start with that? You ask too many questions. I hurry up, you're on the clock. Thanks, player. I appreciate you busting me out. Don't mention it. Like, ever. Come on, Z. We got a rescue to mount. Don't say mount. I, I take it saddle up is out too? If you didn't just bust me out, I'd be walking the other way. I wish you let me go home and change, brother. What I got on ain't exactly comfortable. Nice of you to show up, Oleg. I'm not too late to the party, am I? Don't worry. There's plenty of people left to kill. Let's head inside and find Angel. You're not one of Lorenz's brutes. And you are not one of Kilbane's luchadors. No, but they are. Leave this imposter to me. What? That means everyone else is on us. Son of a bitch! Take care of this. Little 
We're busy here. I'm getting to it. Move in. I'll cover you. Be careful, they have flamethrowers. No one can beat me. You fight with the strength of Achilles. That's what I'm talking about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Philippe is dead, and we are at a crossroads. And the question is, who will lead the Syndicate to a new era? Viola and Kiki were Mr. Loren's right hands. I had someone else in mind. Excuse me? The Syndicate has to answer for what they did. And this time, we're taking the fight to them. Since we don't know Steelport, I brought in some people who do. This is Kinsey, Zemos, and Angel. The barbarians are at the gate! We need a general, not an ambassador! Calm down, Eddie. What did you call me? What would you like us to do, Kilbane? Something. Anything! Before I wonder why I keep you bookends around. Talk to one of these guys. They'll have things for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Kenzie, how's Good, I need help. Everything all right? If it was all right, I wouldn't need help, would I? The boxes are too heavy. Boxes? What boxes? I'm moving stuff into my place. There are boxes. Some are too heavy for me. I need help. Got it? I'll be right over. Someone who just got out of captivity would want to live it up a little more. Not really. I hate people. Oh. Okay, so do you have anything on the Deckers? Not yet. Okay, then what have you been doing since you got out? Power leveling. You're killing me, Kinsey. I can't help you take down the Deckers until I know where they're hiding. So I wrote a program that tracks the user's physical location while they're logged on. That's... awesome. Just play the damn game and I can pinpoint where the Deckers are in real life. And now we're talking.
So what's the point here? I power level your cycle to be able to blow past any security block the Decker users put up. Meaning what? I just drive into things? Pretty much, yeah. Sounds simple enough. Hmm, you couldn't tell. Gee, thanks. How long do I keep this up? Until you hit the end. That'll hit the most users. See? Not so bad. You need to disrupt one of their shell companies. Anyone in particular? A fence company. That's fence like a barrier, not fence like buyer of stolen goods. You're kidding me, right? The company that makes them is seriously bad news. If you'd rather a corrupt, sinister organization keep making money... I, I'll do it. It's easier to say yes than understand the reason with you. What was that? Nothing. Just taking a test drive. Have fun in jail. You can't kill this bitch that easy. Am I lost? Oh, that works. You could have been handle anyone. Yeah, I can live with that. So much for that. So much for that. <laughs> Just salt in the earth. Oh, 
that works. Kinsey, I am not moving any more boxes. I went out and they found me. Who? The Deckers. Who else have I been hacking? Wait, don't answer that. I'll come help you get out. No, get into position and cover me instead. Right. Nothing to worry about, Kinsey. You got saints with you. Easy for you to say when you're not being followed. You think hanging up here is easy? You can do it next time. That was easy. Handle anyone. I think I see the car. Get in. I'll cover you from the air. Get out. 
away for a week. Fix that? Yep. I have to visit each location separately and hack into them locally. You'll never get close enough without them spotting you. I will if you're watching over me. Like with a helicopter. With guns. Yeah. I bet that'll work. It's better. I already found the helicopter. How did I live through that? You ready, Kinsey? Been waiting on you. You sure you can handle flying that? I don't tell you how to hack, you don't tell me how to fly an attack chopper. Makes sense. I wish I had a picture of this. You do your thing. Hmm, that wasn't very hard. They should upgrade their security here. Probably better they didn't. That's 
right! with the Saints. Everything good? Two down, on to the next. That helps. Kinsey, how's the information you got on the Deckers coming? It's compiling. So what's next? Not talking over the phone now. Too many people could be listening. Okay. Smiling Jax. Go there. Okay. You should be more careful. I saw you coming two blocks ago. Traffic cameras. They're everywhere in this town. Good to know. I'm serious. You should toss out your fancy overpriced phone. I can find you through that, too. Yeah, look, I feel kind of weird having a conversation like this. Totally agree. We should be using, like, that Navajo code dialect. Come up for air. I took care of the Deckers. Sure. Let down your garden. Suddenly they make it look like you're selling secrets to Mossad and moonlighting as a dominatrix. You've created a big enough disruption for you to move on, Matt Miller. But if you want the Deckers gone, like really gone, there's a lot of work to do. All right. 
I'll hit you up if any need more help. Remember, throw out your phone! I'm always ready for a fight. I'll be the judge of that. I think I can handle myself. Come to my gym, and we'll see. Oh, shit! People need to learn how to... Are you trying to kill me? Few more inches, no big deal. Whoa! God damn! How are you living in this shit all? To remind me of what Kilbane took from me. It keeps me focused. Eh, hey, whatever works for you, man. I'm just saying, I like my place to have some working heat. So you hate discomfort. That's the sort of weakness that luchadors will capitalize on. Unless you harden up, Kilbane will crush you. But don't worry. I'll chisel you out of diamond. How? By making you experience the worst pain imaginable. Now come on. It's time for you to play in traffic. Right on. Wait, what? I'm not trying to hurt you! That was a great idea. Just missed me with that one. Not cool!
Holy shit! This is a bad idea. Why do I do this? Oh, that's gonna cost you. So, you That was a great idea. Oh, that's gonna cost you. Don't get out! Ready is an interesting term. I want you to go out and experience the heat that a fight with Kilbane would bring. Can't we do this metaphorically? No. What do you think you're... I wouldn't have minded if you'd... I can't stop now. That's right, checkpoint down. I got this. Angel has way too much time on his hands. You know who you're fucking with? Oh, I hope someone saw that. You got a funny definition of training, Angel. There's a car waiting for you. Head to it. I've already played in traffic, remember? This time, all I want you to do is drive around. That's it? What's that gonna teach me? To master your fear. Then this should be no problem. <laughs> he put a tiger in my car! Angel and I need to have a little chat soon. Your pictures! Stink factor, damn it! Just 
trust me. It's better this way. I'm not happy either. I could take on the fucking world right now. Oh, what does Angel feed you? What's this bullshit? I should just kill your furry ass. That was easy. Pause off the fucking wheel! Oh, you were gonna get us both killed! Damn. Angel knows what he's doing. Angel, where are you? I see you made it to the final test. Answer my question. At the gym, training. Don't move. Better not stop. Murder time! Fun time! Tiger? If you're fighting the luchadors, you need to be ready for anything. A fucking tiger? Don't lose the message in the method. You mastered your fear. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're ready to face Kilbane, but the luchadors must still be dealt with. You know where to find me if you need more training. Hey, Shondi, I was... Are you fucking kidding me? Whoa, 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 what did I do? A party? We're throwing a fucking party, now! Party? I didn't... Shit. Pierce... Oh, I am gonna kill him! Oh, hold on, Shondi. You're not killing Pierce. You're taking his side? I'm not doing anything. Not until I talk to him. All right? Fine. I'll see you at the penthouse. Johnny's dead and you're throwing a fucking party? Well, when you say it like that, sure sound bad. I was saddled up in a human pony show. Will you see me crying about a little girl? I swear to God, I will shove that thing down your throat hole. Whoa, Shondi. We can't mourn Gat forever. Eventually, you gotta get back on the horse. No offense, brother. He's right. Whatever. 
Damn, girl. Life is for the living and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is a so pretty it's silly. All over the street, damn, yeah, I get busy. On the dance floor, I'm too witty. Get close, get low, yeah, get dizzy. I'm running to the place. Grind, get low, get low. Move side to side. I'm running to the place. Grind, get low, get low. What's up, girl? Move side to side. Move side to side. Your party sucks. Hey, can we worry about the crazy bitches with guns? Love to win. You are doing that shit, man. Why do people come? Hey, what's that shot do? Thanks, boss. Here's where'd you get these hoes? Don't look at me. This is all from Z's Black Book. Look, what can I say? The bitches love me. You got a funny way of showing it. What happened to the power? It's your party, you tell me. This ain't on me, baby. I like looking at the goods when I have company. You know what I'm saying? It must be cut. This just gets better and better. No one beats a safe. Yeah. It looks like there's a light <laughs> nice show one. outside. Snipers, better grab a rifle and get up top. On it. We'll get you back while you take out those snipers. Move back. Damn. Not surprising. Snipers are down. Let's get some power up in here. I'm tired of tripping over bodies. That shit's downstairs, after you. Oleg, can it wait? You have to cancel the party. It's a trap. I noticed. So it's over? I should have known a few helicopters wouldn't stop you. Helicopters? What are you...
assassins? They came highly recommended. <laughs> Ladies, it was a pretty shit plan. Tell me something, Matt. Did you have a plan? How about you, Eddie? There's a reason Philippe left the thinking to us. <sighs> We're done here. <gasps> Kilbane! Relax. You only need one of them. Viola, your sun is setting. But it's not too late. There's still time to grab Apollo's chariot and drive that fucker back across the sky. You feel me? Yes, Kilby. Ah, apology accepted. Hey, I'll come you a VIP faster murder brawl. That'll cheer you up. Zemos, I was... Fingers can wait, I'm in the middle of something. You want me to swing by instead? Yeah, sure. Seriously, no hurry. Is see ya, see. Find his keepers! You can't keep driving forever! I wouldn't have minded if you'd ended it. Jeez, where's the respect? Uh oh, are you using this? Shit. Uh, does something hit my leg? I wish I had a picture of this. Hey, Zemos. Shh. Don't wake the bitches. You don't waste time. 
Well, if you were chewing on a ball gag with a horse tail up your ass for a few years, I think you'd want to unwind, too. Fair enough. I'm guessing you ain't come here for the pussy. Yeah, if the Saints are gonna stay in Steelport, we need the Morning Star out of here. I already work downtown, but these motherfuckers are everywhere. Oh, I'm here to help, baby. I know every track the Morning Star are working. We can build up our stable and hurt the DeWinter sisters at the same time. Sounds good. I got my people out watching the corners. Let me know where the bitches are. You got some place I can stash them? Sure do. You just bring them on by after you grab them. The Saints are going to own this city. Why are you trying to hit me? Ah. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll come. They need God. to be taught a lesson. Try. Stand on a corner flicking cars if that's what you're thinking. I got people to do that for you. Just need help delivering the advertisements to them. I mean, I guess. Good. Meet me and we can roll these out. Crazy. Keep driving like that. So, how's this work? My homies pay me for the catalogs and sell them wherever they want for a profit. Catalog? What? You run this shit like a department store or something? Yeah, yeah. Who gets a hard on from looking at just the phone number? Point taken. These, uh, regular employees of yours? No, baby. Just contract workers who want to turn a buck. What's the Morningstar gonna think about you being back in business? They're always afraid of competition, especially from Zemos. So pissed as hell then. About right yeah. Good. Oh, what's his 
That's them right there. These is the best girls in town. This shit ain't now. Damn, I'm good. Trying to break something? Let's move. Those pussies ain't got no fight. Those dudes can't fight us. Someone's not getting a good driver discount. Maybe we should reassess this situation. This ain't doing well. Keeping up all right? Don't worry about me. This ain't my first rodeo. Hey, I won't tell. Another employee coming. You have enough of those things to go around? Shit's running low. Gonna have to get my bitches to print more after this next drop. Run dry. Catch me after I get some more of these ready. All right. The Saints are gonna own this city. Just like Thought you were sober. I look like to you someone who can keep them safe while they turn tricks and make us money all i gotta do is drive them that's right how hard can that be 
You'd be surprised. You know I'm a... I can't touch this. That's right. This will be the most fun you've ever had. I'm kind of new at this. Yeah, I don't recommend mixing acupuncture and sex. I never check IDs. Damn, this is a tight fit. Uh, nipple clamps. <gasps> Rough stuff must turn you on. Pop them back great, boob. Okay, so using popcorn is a bad idea. I'm getting out. See? It smells good too. Harder girl. Made me jiggle all over. Keep that magic tongue moving. What the fuck you doing? What's the press doing here? Johnson paid for a beat up car. Oh, I love being a tight ass. Don't you dare stop now. Be patient. They'll move for you. Drifting is damn sexy. I'm fine to work back here. Is this some kind of porn shoot? A stupid photographer. That looks like one of my regulars. I'm not that. My picture? Why? What's the press doing here? I knew you had the skills. Harder girl. Made me jiggle all over. I'll be happy to ride you. You really know how to satisfy a woman. Hell, I'd do that again anytime. <laughs> you can't be finished already. I guess I'm not much of a lover boy. Now that you're back in business, we can focus on the Morning Star. Oh, you need a slow down, baby. No time. Look, come to the Palace of Zemo. I got something here to show you. What for? I've been helping you out right. Humor me. Fine. What will you be? That one was for you, Johnny. Calm down before you kill. That is one ugly fucking painting. You fucking Philistine. What you know about art? That's a the Winter Sisters original. <laughs> Bought that back in the day when me and the twins were all live and let live. Well, seeing as how we just let them know we're taking over their business, I doubt that deal's gonna hold. Shit. Remember the pony show? I've been off that Christmas list a long time.
Anyway, I didn't call you over to talk about me. You killed Philippe Loren and showed the morning star that you are here to stay. Time to relax and cut loose, baby. Now, we'll party once the work's done. I'll call you when I make another move against the morning star. Why? So you can suggest more hookers that'll try to kill us? Don't be an asshole. That could have happened to anybody. It's a common problem, I'm sure. Look, I got a plan to pay back the morning star. Mind filling me in? Let's meet up, then I'll tell you the details. Better be worth it. Thank you, sweet Jesus. And while no group has taken credit for the attack in Stillwater, we have ignored its root cause. Our uncontrolled media and the good soul to our children have fetishized gang culture and turned sociopathic madmen into heroes. No more! Those responsible for this act of terror will be found and held accountable. The Stag Initiative marks a milestone in taking back the streets of America. What the hell is the Stag Initiative? Mm, if it's free porn for everyone, I am down. So what's the lead? Oh, I got you hooked up, Slim. Very discreet. That's an invitation to kick the Morning Star right in their collective buzzer. They have an auction tonight. Flash the car, you ring it. So what, I pretend to be an eccentric millionaire? Kind of. I'm gonna auction you off as a sex slave. Fuck that. Oh, quit being a bitch and get in the van. Wait, we get the new girls. Ain't my fault if the girls don't perform. Pretty colors. Okay, let's do this. Here's your guns back. <laughs> Should be fun storing extra ammo. <laughs> That's on you to figure out, baby. I would rather not know. Something to shut up those alone. Damn things are still going. We'll have to go down the line to do what you want. I'm being shot at. What is making the floor vibrate? That wasn't much of a challenge. Z. You got more of this stuff, right? Man. So this is what it's like to be Shandy. Oh. 
people are busy to kill. I best stay on your good side. You know you're never gonna get me like this again. To be honest, I didn't think it would work the first time. Wait, where are they? I'm out! You can't secure Aiming a browser? Let's keep moving. Ooh, it's the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! 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 Want to be morning star right now. Zemos, I need you to tell me how to hit the morning star. I can probably come up with something. When do you want this by? Right now. Since you told me to Never said I would. All right, come and get me in the wheel. Oh, hold on a second, Z. Someone's calling. I don't have much time, so listen carefully. There's a container of girls being brought into Steelport by ship to replace the ones morning star lost rating the Saints. I sent you which ship they're on. Who is this? Do what you want with them. I don't care. I'm not doing shit until you tell me who you are. Viola de Winter, head of the Morning Star. Zemos, change of plan. Get Pierce. We got a boat to catch. Whatever you say.
to the best. Pussy on that thing. Yeah, and once it's ours, the Morning Star sex operation is done. Are you gonna move all the bitches? Dad, eh, just let me worry about that. Now let's go. I want to meet my new employees. Maybe these girls won't try to kill us. See, you had to bring that up again. Crazy bitches with guns are memorable. You taking your time getting there. You want to drive this thing? Hey, just checking, baby. Hey, just a bunch of noise. Once you find a girl, send them to me. I keep them safe. I'm sure you will. And they certainly stock up. Wow. I wish I had a picture of this. Stay by the guy with the big Z. Come on, baby, follow the Z. The hell are these for? Shit! Who the fuck put him in a box? I'm moving forward. Under too much fire. What? You scared to come out? More crazy shit. These guys are fucked up. Get moving and stay with them. I'll keep you safe, sugar. I get him for you. You'll be safe. Damn, ain't you a fine little thing? Jesus, how many crates did they bring in? Now we're talking. This is like my freshman dorm. <laughs> we better love. These bitches up before your boy gets here. You want out of here, you get in the crate. Oh, anything but the box. They're coming for the boat. I hear them. Think I saw some big firepower laying on those platforms on the sides. Love to win. Almost 
there. Hold them off while I'm coming in. We're on it, Pierce. You think they ain't happy with us? They'll get over it. Y'all can stay in my place for a while. I always win. All right, Pierce, we're clear. Let's load these holes up there and get the hell out of here. Feels like these guys knew we were coming. Morning Star always protect their shipment. It ain't nothing new. What, with this many guards? Like I always say, Bush is big business in this town. Keep us close to Pierce. You got it. Shit, are those rockets? Get them off me. Just keep going. I'll take care of them. Probably because they want us dead. Just keep flying. Something that belongs to me. Who is this? Someone who's willing to bargain. Bring the girls back to the Morning Star and I'll pay you top dollar a head. I'll think about it. That's all I'm asking. What was that about? The Morning Star wanted to buy their girls back. I can't do my thing if I got no pussy to sell. The money won't come quick, but you bet it'll come. 
You could use the cash. Sorry, Z. We're making the deal. What the hell were you thinking, Maddie? It just seemed like a waste to lose all those girls. I am the general. I'm the czar. I'm the walking apocalypse. And I make the decisions, not you! My bad, mate. So, what happens now? Ah, we buckle down! We focus. We don't do a run-in, we hit him with a Montreal screw drop! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Now listen up. My esteemed colleagues, the time is now. We have deployed Stag to Steelport. <laughs> I think I can trust Viola Dwinter. I think she and her employer held me captive while harvesting my DNA. I guess you're holding a grudge. I simply think one must question her motives. Fair enough. Well, speak of the devil. Hey, hang on a moment, Oleg. Looks like the information about the ship was useful. You want to meet, don't you? <laughs> that obvious? Send me your location, I'll consider coming. Well then, I'll be waiting for you. Oleg, we have a meeting to get to. No! I didn't realize you were a patron of the arts, Viola. 
We never really had the chance to chat. What, with you being a science experiment? I wouldn't piss off the big guy. <sighs> Look, I'm not here to fight. We need to work together. Right. Johnny's dead because of you. Johnny's dead because he thought he could do everything on his own. So what's in it for you? I get to watch Kilbane suffer. <sighs> you play nice? I am always gentleman. What is that? Nothing good. Let's go. Saints have taken cover with one of the De Winter sisters. We're about to move in. Roger that. Contact me once you secure the area. Yes, Commander. Let's hope the front's clear. Who were those guys? Soldiers of some sort. Though I don't recognize the uniforms. Whoever they are, they want us dead. Maybe Kilbane sent mercs. He thinks his luchadors are unstoppable. I doubt he'd ask them to sit this out. So we got a new problem. That's great. I am the greatest! Not bad. This got worse. This place looks surrounded. What the hell are those things flying in? They've got the power to the elevator. I'll see if I can fix it. Wow. I think they learned. They're dropping soldiers off up here. There. If you think you'd be better at it. No, no, that's all yours. Come down from the roof and it won't be hard. Watch up, snipers across the street. Incoming air! Deep! You ever seen this tech before? It's military grade. Way beyond the private sector. That should worry me, shouldn't it? A little. In this city, who is it? Oleg! I got you, big guy. Get up! You are escaping! No, please. You go. I'll get that attention. What the hell are you doing? Come out of there, little man!
We'll head to the crib and hope they don't follow. You sure you can get us there? Sure. No, not really. Ah, shit! Get in the car, car, quick! Don't abandon me here! <laughs> doesn't have the pull to organize something on this scale. Look around. I don't think these guys are being picky about which gang they're shooting at. Then who called them in? I'll worry about that when I'm not being shot at. Like it's not just us they're after. Who knows? We've been busy running for cover. Thanks, Shandy. We'll be back soon. I hope. My name is Cyrus Temple. Commander of the Special Tactical Anti-Gang Unit. I'm here to answer your questions about the STAG initiative. Okay, so how long, excuse me, sir, one question, please. How long will STAG be occupying Steelport? There is no occupation. We have the full support of Mayor Reynolds. How will STAG impact our daily lives? When we win the war on urban terror, you and your families will be safe again. Sir, that's not what I asked. Let me tell you about Jessica Parrish, a girl from Stillwater who ran away from home to be with her tough guy boyfriend. Jessica thought her life was pretty sweet until a gangbanger kidnapped her, threw her in a trunk of a car, and laughed as her boyfriend crushed her in a monster truck rally. If Jessica Parrish was your daughter, how far would you want me to go? Thank you for your time. Kenzie, you found anything out about the Deckers? I know a lot about the Deckers. Well, I know that, but I mean anything we can use. Tons. You shouldn't worry about that now. Okay, then what should I... Is Shandy with you? No. Why do you want to know? What's going on? I'll call her then. Meet me at Smiling Jack's Diner. There's something you need to see. That one was for you, Johnny.
What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it! I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers and... We're on it. That asshole's gonna trash the Saints on air. He already is. That's right! <laughs> Fuck him. This guy's got a bigger ego than me. We're here, Kinsey. What next? I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. There's Deckers up here. They probably use these antennas that the Decker used that. Not surprising they need guards. Thanks for the heads up. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. How many gadgets do you think Kinsey's got all over the city by now? Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. She wouldn't spy on her own people like that. You sure about that? Remind me to have my room check when we get back. No one can beat me. Uh, 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 Guess I'm... Oh! Give me a second to place this thing. I'm out! The saints are too close to Kilbane! So where'd you get these transmitters anyway, Kenzie? It's safer, you don't know. What does that even mean? Well, probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work, that's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? Our PR department can take care of that, right? People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what the hell are we paying for? Covering up the small shit. Since when do we do small shit?
Hooking this thing up. There, got it. Sending the coordinates of the van. Van? A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. They're inside it? No. Use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. The what? The light on the helicopter. Shine it on the van. <laughs> We must have spooked them. Location. Nice work, Kinsey. Now let's rile him up. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching your cell through. Listen, you fat piece of shit, you... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna come down there and tear your goddamn throat out! This looks like the place. Clear him out quick and quiet. Quietly? Well, quiet-ish. Let's ask. We gotta get through him first. You're gonna get killed by a girl. Where the hell is Kilbane? I bet that reporter knows. Let's ask. We gotta get through him first. <laughs> uh, still got it. Keep it up! It's been a while. You look good. Where's Kilbane? He mentioned heading north. You're, you're not after me about the interview, are you? Back to the chopper. We're going after Kilbane. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. 
I'll get you above him. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. Make it count. Don't mind if I do! The Deckers are a problem, Kinsey. I've been working on that. And? What have you come up with? Well, I guess you were bound to be here someday. What are you talking about? Come to my place. I'll show you what you're gonna need. You can hit the light. It's... homey. I don't see a bed. Sleep is forbidden. The fuck did the Deckers do to the chopper? Matt must have hacked into its flight computer and fried it with an EMP. You can do that? You can do a lot worse. If Matt gets the Decker Usenet plugged into its central power grid, it's... Trust me. It's bad. So how do we nail the Deckers? If I could worm into their mainframe, I'd do all sorts of naughty things. But I don't have the gear for that. What would you need? Something like this. That's one of the most powerful learning computers in North America. And Stag's got one. Thanks for the tip, Agent Kensington. Ah, damn it! Wait, that punk kid is Matt? <laughs> that punk kid is the cyber god who just crashed your helicopter. Cheers! These people are probably halfway to the computer by now. 
go. Johnny, teach you that? Kenzie, where's the computer being held? At the SAG PR Center. Hurry! So you and Shandy were beaten by a little punk like Mip. Beaten? He crashed our fucking helicopter. That sounds like you lost to me. Put me in a room with Miller and we'll see who loses. You know who you're fucking with? Calm down, we'll get there. I don't want that little bastard beating me again. Don't worry, he won't. Kenzie's a little high strung, don't you think? She barely goes out and stares at that screen most of the time. I'm surprised she's still sane. You sure she still is? Looks like the Deckers started the party. Well, guess we're crashing then. Stay down! We better get in there before they take that thing. Damn, there's even more in here. Stan sure has a lot of tech in here. This shit all looks the same to me. Where's the computer? How do you know that? I have the security feed. Benzie, oh. the truck's moving out and we have company here. I called your reinforcements for you guys. Reinforcements. We got a tank. Oh no. Don't you dare. I don't want that thing anywhere near my computer. Okay, okay. We won't use the tank. Really? Fuck no. We're getting our tank on. Okay, 
following the truck on the street campaign. Oh, God, what the hell are you doing? Going after the truck? I said don't use the tank. Relax. We won't use the cannon. <laughs> uh, Kenzie, you're breaking up. No, I'm not. You're just using your mouth to pretend like you are. W what's that, Kenzie? Ugh. Use the machine gun, then, not the cannon. He thinks he's mad. Set, right? Almost. I need a chair. I'll give you 50 bucks. Pick out a nice one. Funny. I'll explain it all once this thing's set up. How's the setup going, Kenzie? Hard for me to move this thing around. Why don't you ask? Oleg is helping. What do you need from me, then? The next important piece of equipment. Help me out now! Perfect! Look, just come over and I'll explain the plan. <sighs> I'll explain it again real slow. I want to broadcast your subconscious into the Decker Usernet. Then you'll be able to interact with the avatars of users and corrupt the abstract representations of data that are the cornerstone of their online operation. To do that, I need... A Nemo chair, of course. A what chair? Nemo, Neurological Electromagnetic Neuroscope. The KGB destroyed the only one in existence. The Deckers have one. Impossible. How could they miss the signal? They're keeping it here. Clever. Okay, nerd time is over. What is this thing? And Kinsey, for fuck's sake, keep it simple. <sighs> I need the chair to stop the Deckers. Thank you. I used to date a guy who did that. Once we get to the nuclear plant, I'll need to cut the external power uplinks to the main building. Why don't we just run in and take the chair? Well, we could if you want all its circuitry to fry as we try to disconnect it from the power grid. Guessing that would be a bad thing? Yeah. So if you're hooking me up to this thing, it's gonna be comfortable, right? How should I know? It's a chair. Yeah, but are we talking padded leather that reclines or some wicker bullshit? <laughs> That's what you're worried about? If your ass is gonna be comfy? These details are important! You ain't asking over here! How about some music? No thanks. Come on. Some techno or dubstep? That's all over the internet, right? Not interesting. You don't like easy listening shit, do you? God, no. As in what? 80s rock? Death metal! Hardcore gangster rap. Seriously? If my boyfriend saw that... I should at least apologize. All right, here's the power uplink locations. Keep the deckers off me while I disable each one. You can't kill this. You have no saints are gonna own this city. This looks like it. Buy me the time to shut down this power node. You got it. Mind keeping it down out there? Are you you're kidding, right? Sorta. He's down. 
That's one. Two more to go. How's it going in there? These things take time. Uh, you should just let me shoot it instead. Two down. Last one and we're in business. my will. <laughs> I've seen better. It's the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! There a problem? All right, that's it. Now can we go in and get this chair? Nope. Now we go up in a helicopter. A helicopter? They could be keeping the chair anywhere. I have to triangulate its exact location first while you... I have to protect your ass. Got it. See? We're communicating. Where's it landing? In front of the plant. Just do what, whatever it is you do, and I'll take care of the rest. It's simple. I measure the... Not asking for a lesson here. Right. Forgot. You find anything yet, Kinsey? There's a lot of power output coming from this place, so it's hard to get a lock on the chair. No shit, it's a power plant. I need more time. Alright, let's go get... Just you, and you'll have to take the quick way. The Deckers may already be destroying the chair to keep it from us. Quick way? Yeah, jump! <laughs> I'm in, Kenzie. Cut the chair from their system by disabling the router connections. So press the off button on the consoles. That's what I said, wasn't it? Shit! Ugh! 
Helga! What the hell is Miller doing in here? Planning the next world war? It's what I do. Whoa. Always win. Things are shut down. The chair's still pulling power from the system. I don't get it. Well, it's still plugged in. Pierce, you know if that chair thing is ready yet? I don't know. Why ask me? Talk to Kenzie or Oleg. Because you, I can understand. I think they said they'd be done pretty soon. We could probably head over whenever. All right, see you when I get there. much of a challenge. Ready to fuck things up in virtual reality? Safer than being shot at. 
You can survive a gunshot. But if your mind takes too much shock in this chair, you'll go brain dead. Great plan, Kinsey. I know. You ready? Let's do it. You should be seeing a visual representation of the Decker Usenet now. You know what I see, Kenzie? I'm a fucking toilet, that's what. Oops, sorry about that. Let me load up another. I thought you knew what you were doing. I haven't finished your avatar yet. That one's just temporary. I don't have arms! Just start moving through the data. I'll sort it out soon. This isn't much better. Are you trying to tell me something, Kenzie? Quit complaining, you big baby. No one beats a saint! Ah. Oh, now this I can work with. Good, because Matt sniffed me out. This is my world to shape as I see fate, not yours. Looks like Matt doesn't want you poking around here. You'll have to work your way through his defenses. Let's take out the firewall first. Firewall? What is it and how will I find it? It blocks us from accessing the Decker's data. You'll know when you see it. can change. What the hell's going on? He's altering the world's reality there. You'll just have to deal. Nothing slows me down. I gotta read this shit? Come on, Kinsey, how do I get out? And ruin it for you? No way, you gotta figure this out on your own. Thanks, Kinsey. Oh, fuck you, door. Kinda feel like an asshole now. I'm not going to be beaten by some noob you dragged into my world, Kensington. Okay, we're back in business. Now let's take out Matt's antivirus next. Always win. Is he? Why am I a toilet again? I, I think this is more fitting. Wouldn't you agree? Give me some time, I'll fix it. Hey, still have my cannon. Something wrong with the connection? He's bombarding us with data. I'll try blocking it. That one was for you, Johnny. Agent K. 
Kensington. Be gone. Okay, the antivirus is almost taken care of. You'll need to destroy the last bit of code. Kenzie? Why am I in a tank? Just go with it. Kinsey? I see it, I see it. Pathetic. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy kicking that kid's ass. Ooh. Can handle anyone. Ooh. I see one more wall ahead. It's his internet security protocols. They're blocking access into the main... Yeah, whatever you say. doesn't know when to quit. Take this out and go from that himself. No. You like the place? It's modeled after the night late season three episode Rise of the Cyprian Order. Here is where the Cardinal lays his plan for it. Boy, you modeled this shit off of Nightblade? It's an allegory for man's inhumanity to man. No, it's a shitty vampire show. I don't expect a chuckle fuck like you to appreciate good right. <laughs> No one can beat me. You mean where those giant tubes are feeding into? Ah, that can't be a trap or anything. Must be his direct feed into the world, while well his information flows through. Yeah, that's definitely a trap. Again with the comforting skills. <laughs> Easy to laugh when you're hiding like a pussy. Come on out! Glad. You're just a bitch with the keyboard. Well, now, here you cannot beat me. We'll see about that. All right, just don't die until I figure out how to copy an avatar. This is your true self. Small and insignificant. Don't worry, he's not bigger. You're just smaller. I'll kill you one way or another. What are you doing? Get down! Oh, coward! You can't win! You don't know which way is up. Your controls are backwards. Careful where you're going. No. Oh. 
stop fighting the inevitable. Hope you have your Greystone picked out! Get off me and fight! I will trust you like an ant. This is so cool! Looking at the avatar's programming, you should have four main abilities. The sword can be used to slash at things close by, or can create a giant shockwave. And as a dragon, you have a medium range fire breath and a quick dash to evade hits. Let's test this. Get the fuck out of here! Hi, Matt. Wait! I can clear your name. Prove that you didn't destroy that bridge. I'm sure Kenzie can figure it out. I literally have the world at my fingertips. A little vague, Matt. Gotta do better. You tell me the name of a company, and it becomes the property of the Saints. You get your empire back, and I get to walk away. Kid, now we're talking. What are these? They're back doors into company records. One door leads to a weapons manufacturer, giving you discounts on weapon upgrades. And the other? An automotive parts distribution house. They'll discount work done on your cars. Pick one and I'll get you set up as a high-priority client, I swear! I really wish you'd reconsider, Matty. These hands of mine were meant to rend bone, not hunt and peck on a keyboard. Well, well if typing's the issue, I, I can recommend some good voice recognition software. I, I know the best... Shh. You stuck with me when I rose from Philippe's ashes like a phoenix. You and me, we've bonded. That's lovely, but I feel it's time for me to move on. Well, to, to be honest, I'm a little scared of... Well... Dying. I do run a demanding workplace. Maddie, I appreciate how you shared your concerns. I mean, the way Viola and Kiki handled their uh, 
Departures made me just want to kill someone, you know? Oh, absolutely. Well, I've got a flight to catch, so... Maddie. Oh, God. Feel free to list me as a reference anytime. That was stagging time. We need to be careful, Pierce. Uh huh? Oh, yeah. I totally agree. Our place might be compromised. Uh huh. Whatever you say. And we should get some horses and mount a charge on stag. All right. I'll get on that. Damn it, Pierce. I'll be over in a bit. That wasn't much of a challenge. Pack it up, we gotta move. I got 20k on this game. <laughs> Damn! Now it's a draw. This isn't over. What's so, up? It's not safe here. You guys clear this place out, I'll buy you some time. That should spread them out. I'll start some shit at one of those stack bases. Some people just can't fight. Pierce, how's the pack up going? Slow. We got a lot of shit. Just take what we need. What do you think I'm doing? Pierce, leave the chessboard. Man, it's cold. See what toys
Looks like this thing has all their mobile base locations. Pierce, get things moving. I got their attention. We're rolling out in the convoy now. I'll let you know how the streets are looking. Hover and a jet mode? Oh, it's like a helicopter that doesn't suck. This thing's almost done. Better get a new one. Time to keep the pressure on. Looks like Stag left a roadblock ahead of us. Without help, we ain't getting by. Find a new plane. Line in more troops? Fuck that. Better hurry this shit up. I want eyes on the target at all times. Hang on. Around. Almost 
got stopped by Stag. Hit him harder, boss. Tell me you're getting close. We're trying to keep a low profile here. We can't go speeding through the streets. Well, they got an AWACS plane flying with a lot of escorts. You serious? Look, just get there. I'll think of something. I'm Joshua Burke. Hey, on TV I play Nightblade, an exceptionally good-looking but misunderstood vampire who risks life and limb every week to keep the world safe. The men and women of Stag put their lives on the line every day to protect your city against gang violence. Want to be a real-world hero? Talk to your Stag recruiter today. I know I have. Nightblade's the face of Stag. Why don't you just put someone in a fucking deer suit? Hearts and minds will win the war, my dear. Shock and awe wins war, Cinder. Authorize the Daedalus, and this will all be over. Absolutely not. That kid's gonna get himself killed. Well, you ensure Josh Brooks' safety, or I'll find someone who can. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Pierce, you worked out a way to hurt Stag yet? Yeah, Viola's on her way to meet me now. Viola? We need her, uh, talents. What are you planning? Just swing by. I'll fill you in. Oh, look, Pierce can read. Girl, I ain't gotta explain myself to you. Stag is using Nightblade as their mascot. We snatch the punk, and we draw out Stag. Set it up right, we um, get the drop on um, those motherfuckers. Um, 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 excuse me? Uh, can you, can you sign this? 
the fuck is this? Dude, that's Johnny's comic. He sold his likeness to Old Tour. They're making a movie out of this shit. Remind me to call Legal Lee about this. Thank you. All right, so how do we find Burke? The chump could be anywhere. Look, we lay the right bait, he'll come to us. That's why I need you and the new girl. My name's Viola. Your name's the bloody canoness. You can't be serious. Works for me. I feel ridiculous. Really? I think it's sexy. Slutty, but sexy. I didn't get a master's in economics to look like a slut. Isn't it nice to know you can surprise yourself? Are we sure Burke will even be at the PR Center? I met this guy. He's probably practicing on camera already. You that serious about his work? No, he's that in love with himself. Well, and Shandy. The point is, he'll be there. I'm coming for you. Is there a plan? Go in, find Josh, get out. I doubt it'll be that simple. We're dressed as actors. We improvise. Oh, Jesus. All right, we're here. Lose the guns. Would you like to serve? Uh, we're here for the um, the night blade shoot. Yeah, yeah, go in. Not gonna lie, I thought this whole thing was a stunt for Pierce to see your tits, but it's actually working. I don't care if it works or not. I'm not making going out like this a habit. See, you're already making nun jokes. I knew you'd get into this. I hate you. This looks like the right place. Hey, you guys want to do some warm-ups before we shoot? You look familiar. Yeah. Really? Let's get out of here. Very subtle. I know, I just really wanted to punch him. Enemy what? That was easy. What's going on? He'll be fine. He just can't take a punch for shit. And if he isn't? Then I've done the world a favor. Oh! Have you ever won a five? Get Make off. them all pay. <sighs> oh, are we rolling? Vicious. You'll never stop me. Ah. I, I think I fell. Cyprian, order. You think they were guarding someone important? I'm not surprised. Publicity is the key to taking a city. I'll stick with guns. Yeah, a coma and three friends dead? It really worked out for you. All right, you got a point. Not bad. Nice try. That wasn't in the script. Are we improvising? The worst that could happen. Looks like they're all over the entrance. Let's see if there's another way down here. Don't fuck with the Saints!
make them all pay. Must be a way out of the grog! Pay oh. attention, I'm pinned down. <laughs> Stay low. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Fuck it! I Get Burke in the car, let's go! Is that right? What now? Keep him quiet while we get back to the crib. And if he wakes up? You're the bloody canonist. You'll think of something. <sighs> I'm killing Pierce. Great work, guys. That was classic. Oh, wow. Yeah, about that. Uh, we're just kidnapping you. What? What? Really? Do we need to spell it out? You're never gonna get away with this. Right? Stag, my agent, and the night ladettes. They'll all come looking for me. Oh, that's too bad. Shonda was really looking forward to seeing you. Sh Shonda's here? I'll play your game. Let's get this over. Check the bodies. Get me Monica Hughes. They have Burke. What? Well, find him, goddammit! I assure you, ma'am. We'll get him back. Shondi, how's Josh? Try again, man. Pierce, I thought I called Shondi. Oh, you did? She just too busy holding herself back from killing Burke to answer. Hey! Boss, you gotta get me out of here. He's proposed to me six times. Shondi, this will all be over soon. Trust me. Then can I kill him? Please, God. Put the gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That... connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Shondi, play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. Think you can pick a fight with stag by yourself? Well, you're not coming? I'm going to pick up a surprise for stag. You know how to use a Molotov? Yes, Pierce. I know how to throw a fucking bottle. Jesus, I was just asking.
Oh, these banners have to go on principle. The Molotov should do it. They're on the way. We ready? Yes. Be careful not to set off the bombs when you get close. I'll be monitoring Stag's approach from our security room. Launcher I left to set off the bombs when Stag gets close. Some people just can't fight. with the Saints.
Was it worth it? Hey, oh yeah! Let's head up and I'll show you. I wish I had a picture of this. It's a laser targeting system. Who wants to call down an airstrike? Pierce, hey, gold star for you. Fuck right. Hold him down. Just what we need. Thanks. Well, fuck. is to eradicate the gangs of Steelport. But well, where to focus the firepower is my call. At least Birkin will hammer the Syndicate for a while. Give you boys a little breathing room. How you want to play it? No longer shall I hide from my one true love and her cause. Allow Shandi and I to be together. And I swear her enemies will be my enemies. Oh, no, 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 fuck, no. Don't even think about keeping this prick around. I will lose my damn mind. You have 60 seconds to decide. Prepare to open fire on the building. He's still firing! Time Jump to move our ass! Congratulations are in order, Commander. Not quite. The Saints are still at large. I'm sending some intel over. I need leverage on the Saints. Bring in the target for questioning. 
They're going to run to ground. Digging them out won't be easy. If it were easy, I wouldn't waste your time. Understood, sir. I'll find her. Hey, Shawnee, what's up? Oh, nothing. After that whole thing with Burke, just missing Stillwater is all. And Johnny. Yeah. And Johnny. Listen, we're doing this for him. He'd want that, right? Hell yeah, he would. He must be pissed he's missing all this. Hold, hold on a sec. Hey, hey, hey! What the fuck? Sh Sh Shandy? Guess again. Shandy? Pierce, I think we got a problem. How so? Shandy's been taken. Taken? Taken how? I don't know. I was on the phone with her when I heard the struggle and someone else picked up her phone. You think Kilbane got her? Sounded military. It sounded like stag. So what's the plan? Head to Image as Design. I got an idea. Is it any good? Does bold count? With you? No. This is the worst idea you've ever had. We can't go marching onto Stag's aircraft carrier. Why not? I look just like Cyrus. All I gotta add is a fucked attitude. What happens when you're on board? I walk in with my prisoners, they take me to the cell block, I grab Shandy and we leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, prisoners? Yeah, you and Pierce. <laughs> I'm bringing you in. Oh, hell no! Showtime. We'll need one of those stag transports to get out to that carrier. This is weirding me out. Okay, so we get to the carrier. What then? I take you prisoners to the brig where we find Shondi and get the hell off the boat. What if they just shoot us? You worry too much. What do you think? I looked apart? Considering I want to stab your ass right now? Yeah, I'd say it works. Don't talk to your commander that way. I should slap that face right off of you. Try it and I'm leaving you on that boat. <sighs> This isn't giving me any confidence. You sure you got his face right? You know how often this guy gets on camera? I'm just saying. Yes, I'm sure. Okay? That's all I wanted. You know, this is a good look for you. You should keep the face when you're done with it. Are you serious? Cyrus is very powerful and statuesque. You complained about a costume, and now you want the boss to run around with Cyrus's face? It was just a suggestion. Don't get all bent out of shape. We gotta get you two cuffed. We're almost there. This is a horrible idea. Just do it already. Look, you may be cool with wearing handcuffs, but this motherfucker ain't down with that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know. You ran a prostitution ring. So, clearly, I'm into kink. You carry a gun. 
Does that mean you like to be shot? No. So how about we stop being a judgmental man-child? Okay. Next time, you get to be the fucking prisoner. Quiet. Welcome back, sir. What's up? I need you to sign off on some prototypes I've been working on. Thanks for the offer, uh, you. But I want to process these two ASAP. I can take these two down to detention for you, sir. Thanks. What the fuck, man? Did <clears throat> you look at the commander? This way, sir. Lead on. So I was shot. The prisoner holding out. Has she said anything? We haven't broken her yet. Good girl. I I'm sorry, Commander. Sorry for what? No, I'm. It, it sounded like you said good girl. You're hearing things, soldier. I'm sorry, sir. No worries. We're cool. Thank you, Commander. Sir, R&D has sent a prototype for a new vehicle. A jet-propelled cycle. No shit! Sir? I mean, it better not be shit like some of R&D's inventions. No, sir. It is top quality. What else have they cooked up? They have some improvements to our tank's weaponry. Should pack more firepower. Good, 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 good. And there's also portable satchel charges for the troops. Once we get to R&D, I'll need you to sign off on two projects. Looking forward to it. Yet. 
Make them all pay. What do you want now? I'm not saying a damn thing. Shondi, it's me. Pierce Viola and I came to get you out. <sighs> Thank God it's you. We gotta get you home. You look like shit. We have to find a way off this thing. We could blow it up first. You read my mind. Where to? Reactor control room. Heard the guards talking about how dangerous it was. Shake it off! in that control area keeping this place running. Take it out and the ship should blow. You sure about that? Fuck no! I'm just working off movies here. Is going in the book. We might have overdone it. Now we can focus on Kilbane. What about Stag? We just blew up an aircraft carrier. What else could they throw at us? Martial law, didn't you? I knew the saints. How did Mayor Reynolds react? He'll fall in line. They all will. Keep me updated, Commander. 
Of course, ma'am. Sir, the commandos are en route. We'll have the whole city locked down in 72 hours. Outstanding. Thank you, Kia. Permission to speak freely? It's about damn time we took off the kid gloves. Two little words, Kia. Shock and awe. Kenzie, there been any chatter from Stag? An air convoy is flying into Steelport. And call Viola and tell her to meet me at the airport. I'll need her jet. Ugh! Appreciate your donation. your ass. Doors locked from the inside. You're in a supply plane for the military. There has to be something you can use. And how guarded is the cargo? Oh, Stag doesn't skip on people. Will there be any problems getting to the cockpit? Viola, I'm a little busy here. 
Almost forgot. Yeah? Try to actually stay in the plane for once. Oh, ha ha. Saints are gonna own this city. Well, this isn't opening it. Is there anything else to try? Let's move up on these ghouls. This either. We'll keep looking. Found this strange piece of tech. Might be able to blast through the door with it. Then use it so we can land these things already. Ah, seems like this should work. You getting close enough? So much for a surprise. At least you're inside. I wish I had a picture of this. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Shoots are overrated. It always happened to me. Shit, that was close. No one could beat me. Hey, you think this thing would fall faster? Looks like I'm stealing a plane after all. Let me get the hell out of here. Oh, and maybe I'll stick to tanks.
my life. We're waiting too long to go after Kilbane. I was thinking the same thing. Come to the Broken Shillelagh. We can all talk there. I am done fucking around. I want Kilbane. You want to hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So what? We humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask, and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. No, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. <laughs> He's more scared of Angel than me. Yeah, no offense, but you're kind of ridiculous. Relax. You don't look hot in the speedo. Kenji left you that weapon. What? The RC gun. You'll need it to take control of the loot stored vehicles. Why not just shoot them? These are supposed to look like accidents, remember? Will I be able to use it from this high? Mm -hmm. Right. Is Kilbane really that afraid of you? No one's not better than him. And you think he'll fight me? If there's no more contenders, he'll have to. Easier just to kill him. Easier, yes. But nothing worth doing is easy. When you raise Kilbane's mask to the screaming crowd, you'll know you made the right choice. I'll take your word for it. Right, folks, get those hepatitis vaccines updated because the blood will be flying soon at Murder Ball 31. Right you are, Zach, and who better to announce the official lineup than the champion himself, Kilbane? Oh, you know, opponents have been arriving from all over to face their fears and meet the architect of their demise. So stay tuned as the press conference will be coming to you live from the Three Count Casino within the hour. I can't wait. Murder Ball, Murder Ball, Murder Ball! That loot store heading towards the car is the Mad Mangler, Little Roberts. Mad Mangler, huh? So running over a bunch of people is probably his hobby. Uh, actually, he's pretty laid right back. Fine, roid rage then. Work with me here, Angel. Let's get to the press conference. Hey, what's wrong with this car? Should have laid off the juice. Who's next? Christopher the Clubber Johnson. 
He should be on his boat now. No wonder there are no seals around here. Breaking news! Minutes ago, mad mangler Merle Roberts, a luchador slated to compete in the upcoming Murder Brawl 31, ran over several pedestrians in what witnesses say was a rage-induced vehicular massacre. His body is being pulled out of the fiery wreckage as his career ended at a dead end. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. This thing's pretty fun, Kenzie. Top board one night and three together. You really need to get laid. The electronics are good for that, too. Uh, wow. things. Not as dangerous as helicopters. Trashcan Teddy is on a sky tour of the city. How do you know all this shit? Know your enemy. Know yourself. More breaking news. Blood has chummed the water of Steelport as two boats lost control within minutes of each other, resulting in the deaths of the drivers, other boaters, and partygoers on a nearby pier. Is this a boating stunt gone horribly wrong, or is death smoothing out a wrinkle in his design? This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. That's getting too far to control. Did he just jump out? No, that was the pilot. Trashcan must be flying now. Don't lose him. I won't. <laughs> oh, that's done. There any more? I've saved the worst for last. El Presidente. What's the problem? <sighs> He's reached out to Stag for protection. He's afraid that Kilbane will try to kill him before the match. He's half right. Time to take over a tank. I think Stag's about to cause an accident. This just in, it was shades of the great bootlegger recall of Aught 7 as yet another mechanical failure resulted in a fatal mid-air helicopter crash. Citizens of Steelport, a word of advice, pull over now. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. They got her hand off. This is where you end. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you. Thanks for the ride. 
Viola, thanks for... Make sure you aren't late. Excuse me? To meet the mayor. Hold it, what's going on? The mayor needs our help. Why would we help him? Who cares about... The mayor is one of the most powerful men in Steelport. Don't just dismiss him. And we should just jump when he says? If it'll get us on his good side, yes. I'm trusting you on this, Viola. You should. What are we waiting for? We're not walking in there until you promise to play nice. Are you serious? Repeat after me. Don't fuck with the mayor. Look, sweetie. I'll fuck with whoever I want to fuck with. I mean, who does this guy think he is? Viola, is this the kid you were talking about? Bert fucking Reynolds? Who else could keep this town running? Besides, I love my constituents. Sir, I am a huge fan. Excuse me, honey. Viola says the Saints have the new game in town. If that's the case, I want in. Uh, yeah, great. What do you need? I got a zombie problem that I want... Wait, a what problem? <sighs> Zombies. You mean metaphorically, the celebrity-obsessed media drug masses, yes? This ain't Los Angeles. I'll tell you about it later. You knew about this? So what do you say, kid? Undead cleanup ain't exactly in our wheelhouse, but, hey, we'll give it a whirl. Aren't you worried about pissing off Stag? You're acting like I never had to outsmart a paramilitary organization before. Call me when it's done. Oh my god, this guy is fucking awesome. Stop being a fanboy. Maybe I should have thought this through. It's too late now. You don't back out after agreeing to something with the mayor. You're right. Can't let Bert down. <sighs> What's the plan here? Simple enough. Put on gas masks, find the chemicals, neutralize them, and kill anyone on our way. Alive or dead. But for killing these zombies. What's the plan for that? Well, I'm not picky. As long as they stop moving. Contact and stag. There are three containers leaking the virus into the air. They'll have to be submerged in water to be neutralized. Think you can handle that? Mayor Reynolds, stag gave me just the tool I need.
CZ, splitting up, bad. Well, I was going to say thanks. Can you even kill something that's dead? If they're moving, they ain't dead. They're just... Fucked up! How scientific. It's unbelievable! How fucked up this is? No! That we never thought of manufacturing zombie gas! The Morningstar could have made a killing! A little farther. So why did Loren try to take the mayor's office? Too much politics! Besides, he wasn't about to go up against Mayor Reynolds. Uh, first smart movie made. I'm not feeling so well. Let me check your... Shit! The hose on your mask is damaged. I mean, there's a rim drops close by. Maybe I can fix it there. That sounds like a good idea. Let's hurry. Relax. Damn it! I keep getting pieces of these things on me. Ah, I'm gonna need a shower after all this. one zombie you've seen them all like you've ever dealt with a zombie before <laughs> actually i had this friend once named lynn what uh, never mind Whew, these things must be heavy Containers to go, Mayor. Good. You get this done, and you can count on the Steelport Municipality to back the Saints. SWAT teams, favors from the police chief, a little help from me personally, whatever you need. You can. Mayor Reynolds, I'll let you know when it's done.
I think we could utilize this virus to fight our enemies. All we need is a sample before you destroy it all. Oh, like I am not making a shitty problem worse by letting it out. I'm saying the saints could create zombies to fight with us, overwhelming our enemies with a tide of flesh. Yeah, okay, that's fucking cool. <laughs> some complications, Senator. Complications? Don't talk to me about complications. I want results. You want results? Then authorize the use of the Daedalus. Since Congress got on board, Homeland Security would never allow it. This is out of control. I am coming to Steelport. Zombies and Monica Hughes? Angel, what advice can you give me for my fight with Kilbane? Don't fight him. You know I have to. Let me do it. Angel... I've been living with the shame for years. Give me the chance to make it right. You think you can beat him? All I need is the opportunity. All right. How can I help? Before I can fight, I need to reclaim my honor. How do you do that? Meet me at the Three Count Casino, and I'll show you. Okay, so why are we here? Losing his mask is the ultimate shame a luchador can feel. I can't steal it back. I need to earn it. All right, how do we do that? We hurt a lot of people. You can so what's the plan here? We tear this place apart until someone who knows what my mask is shows. What happened to Ernie? This is close enough. Whatever you say, boss. Thank you. 
casino manager. Let's have a little chat then. What are you doing in my casino? Where is Kilbane keeping my mask? Okay, okay. Jeez, it's gotta be in the vault, behind the teller cages. Uh, oh. Oh. If you knew we kept your mask, why didn't you look for it earlier? He broke my spirit. I didn't think I was worthy enough to get it back. What changed? Meeting the Saints. Here it is. And it's the real thing? I know every curve, every color, every mark on this mask. Then put that thing on and let's go! Angel de la Muerte is reborn! And we get our asses out of here. Not yet. It's time to send Kilbane a message. Start with those statues. Fine. Let's tear this place up. Ooh, that gets the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! Ship. Think you'll get the message. This place already looks better. Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now, it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. <laughs> You know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. He's that fucking sick. I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Killbane. Good luck, man. Well, there it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are. And of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my god, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel de la Muerte, the second half of Pale Riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steel Court Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. 
After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. Time to get to work. All right, here we go. And here's the Butcher of Stillwater swagger at in. And speaking of surprises, here comes the Luchadors in force. The Butcher getting some help from the fans. This has just turned into a lumberjack match from hell. The Luchadors are on the side of the ring again. All right, Bobby, you know, this is a classic matchup. Speed versus power, youth versus age, brains versus brawn. Well, you know, the fact that these two are tag team partners really adds another layer to the whole dimension. They train together. They know what to expect. One wrong move can end the entire match, and you gotta wonder if Angel is gonna be able to keep his cool. You know, you're right, Bobby. The last time these two fought, Angel lost his mask to Kilbane, the greatest mark of shame in the Lucha Libre world. It's been years that had to be eating away at him. Oh my God, no Angel is out of the ring. I can't believe this, Bobby. This is punishing to watch. The Luchadors are manhandling Angel. This is sick. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Jeez, wait. The Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my God, a chainsaw. What the f***? Oh my God. Oh my goodness, look at the blood fly. I could have had a V8. A fatal flaw in the Luchador's plan, Bobby. They didn't account for the murder brawl chainsaw. It was a desperate move for a desperate time, but it looks like the gamble has paid off. Now this is what people came here to see. The Butcher of Stillwater on an unstoppable rampage. Kilbane can't be happy to see this. It's gotta be getting slick on that floor. Hey, I gotta get my grandma to get the mop. I hope the audience brought some paper bags, Bobby. It is raining blood. Angel. Can you fight? I think I broke my leg. Get in there and kick that bastard's ass. I can hold off these jobbers. Well, it looks like people are going to see the fight they paid for as the Butcher of Stillwater stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kilbane. Now, this is classic Saints tactics. Use someone to weaken up the opponent that swoop on in for the kill. I already beat your champion. Now. Kneel before the walking apocalypse! I am gonna rip that mask off your fucking face! When I'm through with you, you'll be begging for me to kill you! This is it, folks. Two giants in the field of destruction facing off for our entertainment. Does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't. Though only one of these two has the good sense to leave the violence. In. There he goes. He dodged it. Here comes the reversal. Look at the brutality from the Butcher. I think you'd have to be naive to believe a giant like Kilbane hasn't thrown in a few punches here and there outside the ropes, Bobby. Not like the punches being thrown in here tonight, Zach. Both of our contenders seem to be out for blood. Kilbane isn't bowing down to the Butcher anytime soon. But this celebrity of the streets isn't making it easy on Kilbane. There seems to be something more going on than two world-renowned titans wishing to settle. Oh, my God! And Kilbane goes sailing out of the ring! But wait! He's already heading back in! Looks like the Stillwater Butcher isn't getting a moment's rest tonight. That's right, Zach. There are no free rides against the walking apocalypse. You betcha. No matter who wins tonight, someone is going home with crushed dreams and internal bleeding. The crowd can't get enough of the carnage, and quite frankly, Zach, neither can I. Oh, yeah. The charge again. Another miss from Kilbane. The champion cannot be happy with that one, Zach. That 
that sound will stick with you. Go, Rose. There he goes. Unbelievable. All's fair in love and motor brawl. Kilbane's knocked out again. And here come the luchadors in his place. Murder Brawl is certainly giving the finest and blood gushing, bone mashing entertainment tonight, Bobby. My heart goes out for the cleanup crew on this one, Zach. Let's hope we get to see some bludgeoning. Give it up while you can still walk. You won't even realize. Another kill switch. Unbelievable! Another reversal! This is incredible! The Killbane just can't connect with the kill switch. I'll take good care of it. Pierce, you hear anything about what happened to Kilbane? Nope. We need to know where he is. Yep. You're playing chess again, aren't you? Yeah. Damn it, Pierce. Oh, hey, hey, come to the crib. We got something important to talk about. Ugh. So what's up? Heard back from Legal Lee. Studio wants you to do a screen test for gangsters in space. No, oh, fuck that. We're done being corporate whores. So who's winning? What's that? What is going on? 
We gotta get down there. The city is falling apart. Fights everywhere. We have to put some of these assholes down before they destroy the place. I'll keep my ear on the police band. Let you know when things are really bad. Thanks, Kinsey. Standing. I am nothing if not thorough. That was easy. showed up. Never better. More than I can say for Stag. You know who you're fucking with? Don't know. That's on Kins. We're seeing a huge concentration of stag and luchadors at the armory. We're on it. <laughs> Always nice to see the boys.
Why chase them when they come to you? Looks like we're sticking around. Don't fuck with the saints. Here's a point. When Kinsey hit, I pour out my heart. What? It's rare I find an intellectual equal. Time right, Jane here 13 times. Good to know. You fight with the strength of the king. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding me. He's at the airport. There isn't much time. Angel. No, I can't let him win. We can't let him win. Angel, just hold on until I get there. Damn it. Hello, Sink. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're gonna arrest us. Big fucking deal. I don't want to arrest you. It won't solve anything. People need to wake up and see the threat that scum like you are to innocent people. Once you blow up the Magarak Island, the whole world will see your true colors. I don't mean to disappoint you, bitch, but the Saints aren't about domestic terrorism. We'll see how many people believe that when Shandi and Viola are found in the wreckage. You, you can't make it to Boca. You can't let Shandi die. Fuck Kilbane. He ain't worth losing our girls. me just drive Good. 
you should try the bigger vehicle. That's it. That's kill base point. End of the line, Friar. Fuck me. So here we are. Two titans among men, worshipped by mere mortals for bringing them blood and fire. This moment was an inevitability. So's me killing you. Ah, no, 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 no. That's not how this book is written. The saint's legacy ends here, not with a bang, but with a whimper. <laughs> Are you for real? It's over, Eddie. In two weeks, no one's gonna remember your name. No one will remember me. You were a fucking clown, selling energy drinks and lunchboxes. You didn't care about the crowd, just a paycheck. And I changed that. Bullshit. Mark my words. When these hands are crushing your throat, your dying breath won't be an appeal to God or a message of love to your family. It'll be, thank you, Kilbane. Man, I'm gonna enjoy shutting you up. Bring in the Daedalus. Pierce, how's the... Well, hey there, boss. <laughs> Started drinking early, did you? That's what you do with these things. So, everything's all set? We're at the broken shillelagh right now. Putting on the finishing touches. I'll head over soon, then. See you when I see you, boss. And try not to pass out before I get there. Me? No, oh, I'm fine. <clears throat> Promise.
We've lost a lot of friends getting to where we are, and that's never easy. But at least we know that wherever Gad is, he's got friends giving St. Peter some hell, huh? Deshondi! Deshondi! blow up every building, we're bound to be in one of them. Fuck that. We're breaking their little toy. Boss, you better find a helicopter. Taking that thing out is all on you. I'm trying to get people to shelter, but it's chaos down here. Those turrets gotta go. Hey, the less things shooting at me, the better. Kinsey, we're not doing enough damage to this thing. We gotta go big. Well, just be careful.
love to win. Maybe three will be enough? Oof. Holy fucking shit! Their tax dollars at work. If I knew we bought shit like this with taxes, I'd start paying them. <laughs> this is awesome! When this is over, I'll steal the blueprints from the DOD. A few years, we can probably build our own. I love you. One more for safety. Fireworks have started. I'm detecting system failures all over that ship. Tell me you're getting out of there. Not until the job's done. No! to the best.
Nice landing, Cyrus. Gotta go! Saying we can find. We're going on a field trip. Even in a place that is no stranger to violence, today's assault on the city stands as the blackest time in Steelport's sordid history. While the government has yet to comment on the attack, we have a report. No one runs, no one gets shot, understand? Sam. Kenzie, you in the booth? All set. I got a message from Monica Hughes and her stooges. Dear bitch, Steelport is under new management and we don't answer to you. This is foreign soil now. Come at my city again and you'll go home in a fucking box. Back to you. Not bad. You could be a weatherman or some shit. Eh, I may have laid it on a little thick. Well, you did just create a city, State. <laughs> Good point. Hey, that reminds me. This place is gonna need a new mayor. How do you feel about public office? It's a horrible idea. I'm in. Well, let's get to work. Kenzie, where are you? They have- I know, I'm at the docks. Come here fast. On my way. How bad is it? Saw on the cameras what happened. There's bombs all over the monument. Can you disarm them? I'm not a walking deus ex machina. Use the stag sonic gun to knock the explosives into the water. And you? We'll be watching from the surveillance monitors. So don't screw up or I'll see. Right. Love 
to win. Anywhere is better than here. I'm surprised you came. I don't leave my crew to die. Really? Lynn, Carlos, Aisha, Johnny. All you do is let your friends die. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. Those grenades should buy you time! Take care of this terrorist! Come on, use I the I don't grenades. wanna know how that's made. I don't want to know how that's made. As mayor, I order you to win this fight. Watch what you're doing! <laughs> Still got it. the next thing out of your hole is thank you, we got a serious fucking problem. They have a point, Commander. Like it or not, the Saints are heroes. Are you shitting me, lady? You declared martial law and knocked down half of the city. The Saints just saved a treasured monument. Who the fuck do you think the public will side with? Yes, I can answer any questions. Jimmy over there. They can give you the key to the goddamn city, but as soon as you screw up, we'll be back. And next time, Stag is going to put you down. Oh, I love you too, Cyrus. So what's the play, boss? We'll go back to banging in Stillwater? Not yet. Tracking down this son of a bitch, we said we'd follow him to the ends of the earth. We did. <laughs> Kilbane is readying his army for an all-out attack. We will stop him here. Our planet needs us. Let's not let her down. Hoorah! Hoorah! Cornell, talk to me. Looks like the gate is protected by a security network tied to three terminals. Disable each one in order, and you should have no problem. Let's hope that's true. I sent you their locations, Commander. Come back safe. I love you. I know. Yeah, I was only 
in two days till retirement. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Nothing's more important than stopping General Kill Pain. Terminal is disabled. You gotta live. <gasps> live for all. You were the best of us. I think I figured out what happened to our recon squad. There's wreckage all over the area. All three terminals have been shut down. That should leave the gate vulnerable to explosive charges. Let's hope this works. Gates down, and we're storming the bridge. Once inside, you're on your own. Good luck, my love. Misfits could stop me? 
I won't let my friends die in vain. You're going down. You can't kill me. You don't know the truth. The fact is, I am your father. What? No! You can't win! This suit is impervious to everything, save for conveniently placed lava crystals. How does it feel to know you will die on Mars? You tell me. You think this will stop me? I'll enjoy watching you burn. came to Mars to make a living, keep my head down, stay out of trouble, but I found something, I... but I found something that, damn it, Vine, cut! Sorry, I, hey, you get it next time. Everybody back to one. Settle, settle, we're rolling. Speed. All right, people, big smiles. It's a happy ending. And action. Um, 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 
was a dark and stormy night. The heavens wept as I defiled Mother Nature. Johnny, we're about to jump! Right on. I'll see you in still. Johnny? They failed you, Johnny. But I never will. I'm your number one fan. For months, I've been collecting shit. Hey, shit. Sunglasses. Old chewed up gum. A greasy comb. I thought I had had enough things that he touched. I was wrong. Gat? Yeah. All right, so where is... I'm getting to that part. Find our friend. Yeah, let's do this. Sit the fuck down, Jimmy. Leave this to the professionals. Can you at least give me an autograph? And so our adventure begins. You have any idea where to start? If it's really Johnny, he'll want a gun. We're heading to friendly fire. Everything this town has to offer, and that would be his first stop. It was mine when I got here. Yeah, but you knew we had to take on the Cindy. A clone of Gat ain't gonna know that. Or Jimmy, he still thinks he's out to avenge Aisha. Shit, good point. Doubt he's here. A pissed off clone of Johnny would be causing more problems. Try the next one. Indeed, their friend had not been to the purveyor of weapons close by. But perhaps the next merchant will prove more enlightening. Morning Star? Think they're after Johnny too? I don't know. We better check it out. Seeing our heroes approach, foot soldiers of the notorious Morning Star gang rain down a hail of bullets. Realizing the presence of these henchmen must hold a clue to the whereabouts of their friends. Keeping one alive is the only avenue for answers. Better leave one alive if we're gonna figure out what's up. What? Tell me what the Morning Star was doing here, and I might let you live. As long as you don't give me to that brute. He attacked some of our guys nearby, so we were tracking him down. Now, can I go? You better find Gat before these guys do. The Saints realized they had no idea where to continue the search. But then... Leave this to us, will you, kid? Looks like you may have gone to the strip club. Shit. That sounds like Johnny. to the stage-like advice of their intelligent and trusted friend. They raced over to the local strip joint, ready to deal with a full police investigation. 
But when they arrived... Where's all the police? I don't know, Jimmy was probably wrong about him. Damn! Would you look at this mess? I already called the police! Look at what you saints did to my club! Hold up, man. We didn't have nothing to do with it. Listen, you better start talking. What happened here? Jesus! That big guy came in screaming his name and something about stripper poles and then started trashing the place! People panicked and he ran off! At that moment, little did they know the building was being surrounded. Our heroes didn't have time to pick. Damn, we in deep shit here. I don't have time for this, Jimmy. I know. I heard on the police scanner they had you trapped inside. I have a way to track down. Just wait there. Jimmy, shit. I guess we're holding out here till that kid shows up. So it was. The Saints began their stand at Technical Legal. Determined to stay alive long enough to be saved from the police by their daring ally, they opened fire on the hordes of enemies bearing down on them. The danger was extreme, but they found the courage to endure. Never once did they lose faith in their friend. That kid ain't coming. Oh shit, they called in the SWAT teams! Explain so much. I can track down on my device here. Just keep us safe, all right? Having arrived just in time to save the saints from certain death, the three set out on a chase to the metropolis of Steelport in search of their clone friend. Amazed by the device built for such a purpose, they asked for an explanation on how it worked. So you see, with the DNA from the Gat clone programmed into this bio scanner, I can look for traces of. Jim, I'm a little busy. I don't care how it works, just that it does. He's faster than I had anticipated. Still for PD on our ass.
These guys seem to be more worried about us than a giant gas clone. a waste of time. Don't worry. I have a backup plan. Trust me. I'll try not to scratch it. Vende, vai. 
I met them with the solution to our problem. Okay, what the hell is that? A mobile saint! Hop in! I'll explain along the way to Planet Saints! How is this supposed to help us? Pierce is a singer. If he sings Aisha songs, we can calm the savage beast within Johnny, giving us a chance to reason with him. You gotta be kidding. And why are we going to Planet Saints? Today is Fan Appreciation Day at all those locations. Gat may turn up looking to reconnect with the Saints. Only problem is the crowd. What about them? We'll have to keep them from spooking him. Take this bee gun, my own genius creation. It should be able to hold off any crazy hands without killing them. Fine, we'll give it a shot. But this better damn well work. Pierce, guess you better start singing. I hate you right now. Get up, Pierce. We're rolling. The excitement of the crowd and the realization they will finally find their friend put the group in high spirits. Pierce's singing would work, just as the invention by yours truly had kept the fans at bay. With the strength of their leader guiding them all, there was nothing to fear. As they drove, they thought of all the good they will accomplish together. The Saints knew this was their lost friend, and were happy to see him alive and well. What the fuck did 
did you do to get? Jesus, Jimmy. Uh, remember the plan. Uh, get him calm before getting near him. This is on you, Pierce. was close. We better make sure Gat's all right. We have to follow! Come on! I'll track him! Once again, to save our friend, we knew the faster we reached him, the better chance we had of keeping him alive. We had to keep our wits about us to make this work. Thing work on Gat? I think so. We'll have to try. Otherwise, Pierce is gonna have to get his head ripped off. <laughs> Something more powerful. The most powerful feeling of all. Love. You didn't. You fucking did it! She was his one true love. I couldn't let him live without her. Holy shit, this... <laughs> this is working! <laughs> I told you! Kid, you got lucky here. Soon we can take them both home! Wait. You hear that sound? I should have known then. It was the sound of doom on our doorstep. Aisha! No! <laughs> what now? A pissed off Gat was one thing. A pissed off Gat clone? We'll need something powerful to stop him. Lucky for them, I had just the thing. Ah, 
have been better. Um, look, I know this hasn't gone as smoothly as I said it would, but I know we can bring Gat back around. Come to my place and give me one more chance. You won't regret it. Guys! Jesus! What? Uh, what up? Well, uh, Johnny found his way back here, and he, um, 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 he took beers. I remember that, but what happened to me? Oh, that! You're feeling the effects of my irradiated Saints flow. What? While you were out, I gave you Saints flow. Oh, I irradiated with my homemade particle accelerator. I intended to drink it myself. But seeing as I owed you for all this trouble, I figured you could use it. This is doing to me. I feel... I feel... really great. It should increase your speed, your strength, allow you to throw fireballs, make you impervious to harm and other... unknown side effects. My very own superhero concoction. Now you're ready to go after Johnny. Hell yeah, I am. I'm hearing roars in the distance. Uh, triangulating the source and... I've got it. Sending you the location now. Taking off like a god, treading among mere mortals. The leader of the Saints set out to find their two trusted lieutenants. Meanwhile, their closest friend, Jimmy Torbison, scoured the information highway for news on... Uh, Jimmy? What, what, what you doing, buddy? Uh, what, 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 what do you mean? How are you talking to me? You're spouting crap about you. Gods and mortals, what, what's that all about? Oh my god, you have telepathic powers! You can hear my thoughts! Oh, that's just great. Of all the heads I could be in, I get yours. Man, fucking tastic! Look, just use the damn phone to talk to me, all right? I'm here. I don't see Gat, though. Damn it! The military's all over! You're right! Can you speak or should play that roaring sound, hoping to lure the Saints out? Oh, God! I'm so sorry! I should have seen this coming! Look, just find Gat. I'm fine here. and search the airwaves for any sign of the lost Johnny Gat. Finding... Are you talking about yourself in the third person now? Seriously? Oh, right. Sorry. I heard over the radio there's loud roars coming from Planet Change. I'll be on the phone with you the whole way. Pow! Kidding me again? Oh no! I've analyzed the sound from that second planet change, and I think it's another trap. Really, 
Jimmy. You don't say. Is that you? Boss, yeah. I'm here with Gat. We're on top of Magarac Bridge and we're under attack by the military. You gotta hurry! Hang on, Pierce. I'm coming. Jimmy, what's, what's happening to me? I'm getting tired. The same slow must be wearing off. I thought it would last at least an hour, but you're burning through the power too fast. You'll have to stop. Dad, I'm not stopping while Johnny and Pierce are out there. Pierce, how did you get up there? I don't see a way. Gat climbed up the side, but don't worry. Called the boys and they're flying in the chopper. Good to hear.
still up there. I'm seeing helicopters fly in. I know, Johnny, but we can make it right. Yeah, we're your friends, Johnny. Yet, friend? Come on, buddy. Let's get you back home. Stripper Paul? That's right. <laughs> Stripper Paul. And so ends the tale of our intrepid heroes, bound by the bonds that they had for each other. Steelport is safe once again. Who knows when the saints and their new allies may be called on to protect. My name's Andy Jen. I'm sure you've heard of me. The studio signed me on to direct Gangsters in Space, and I want you to be the star. I mean, you're, sure, you're already a star, but think of immortalizing yourself on the silver screen. Beautiful thought, right? And swing by the studio and you can see the script. I'm sure you'll love it. This thing's getting Ooh. You'll have to kill me for... Ah! You crazy-ass motherfucker! I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. This is weird. Um, excuse me? Oh, hi. I'm Jenny, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm so super excited right now. Is that a, a good thing or a bad thing? Oh my god, are you kidding me? My first feature, and I'm starring opposite the leader of the Saints. Well, I wouldn't get too worked up. On camera's more of a Shandy or Pierce thing. I'm, I'm having a hell of a time wrapping my head around this script. Is the script a problem? Just say the word, baby, we'll toss it. No, oh, no, oh, it's cool. I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna need cue cards like a motherfucker. Brilliant. That's so fucking cinema verite. 
You're gonna kill it. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Mr. Zhen. Who is this extra and why is she talking to me? Oh, Mr. Zhen, I'm playing Quilana. Really? I thought we were getting a name for Quilana. Uh, no, just me. Well, it's just fucking great. Look, Missy McNobody over here isn't gonna bring you down, I promise. I won't let her, okay? You just be yourself, you're gonna kill it! All right, let's shoot this fucker! All right, in this scene, you're rescuing the alien princess from the military. So, Jenny. Who? Oh, right, whatever. Her name ain't worth the foam in my morning double decaf soy latte, okay? Wow. But just play this fast and loose. It could be a natural, trust me. Whatever you say. The government won't escape with the alien, not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, miss, baby! Okay, now you charge up the hill, guns blazing! I'm coming, princess! Hang on! Hang on! I've got you! You... you saved me. You're not like the... No time for small talk. We... Cut! Uh, you know what? This just isn't working for me. There's no life. We got a star making performance here and a cardboard cutout for a co-star. Okay, we gotta ramp everything up. Take it back to entering the base. We're sexing this fucker up! More guards! More assault rifles! Make it happen, motherfuckers! You, uh, you doing all right? Yeah, just, you know, trying to make Mr. Zhen happy. <laughs> Pierce was right about buying stock and parachutes. He wasn't kidding. Nice! Very nice! This is crazy! Let them take you away, princess. Thank you ever so much for saving me. I'll be sure to keep you safe. Let's go! Keep it steady. I'll hold these guys off. I've never flown anything like this... this thing before. It's called... A helicopter. And I have faith in you, princess. Please! My name in your language is Quilana. Quilana, then. I believe in you. Are you fucking kidding me?
Focus on the action! Oh my god, are you okay? You crash like a pro. And cut! Beautiful! Way to roll with the punches and improvise, man. I loved it. Guess that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Jen. I'm glad you... Yeah, I was talking to our star, not you. You had the emotional range of a bagel. And like one of those shitty whole grain bagels that nobody likes. All right, let's set up the next shot. Jenny, don't listen to him. You're doing great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we're rolling. And make some magic. Up ahead. Let's take that car. There are guards all around. Sorry, I forgot the line. Nice ad lib. Thanks! We want to stay in character! God, is this your first acting job? I mean, thanks! Teach me that sometime! How many guys is he throwing at us? Uh, you mean your military leaders? No, Jen! He's kind of bordering on crazy. Oh. People are already here. I fear we may be too late. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, late, yes, because uh, of the prophecy that. God, I'm gonna stick you in a goddamn microwave if you don't start working. Wait, what? Uh, I'm getting no service out here. I hate this fucking phone. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs>
you're gonna jump the car over the river to get to safety. It's all set up and idiot proof. So that should include you, Jamie. I, uh, I think you mean Jenny. Less talking, more driving! Move on. It's not worth it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. Okay! Acciones! That doesn't look possible! Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea! Cut! What the hell was that, Jemima? A child could have made that jump! A crippled child! That was blind! Are you fucking high? Did you see how far it was? Listen, I'm really sorry. Please, please don't let this ruin our relationship. This is 100% the casting director's fault, I swear. Are you crazy? He's the director. I don't care who he is. You shouldn't take shit like that from anyone. All right, let's reset and do that again. Okay, faster with more intensity and less sucking. And play ball. <sighs> Here we go. You know what? Fuck that. Turn up ahead. Yeah, but that's off script. I'm rewriting this shit. Trust me. Joe! What the hell are you doing? This works better. Just keep filming. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I see what you're doing. Brilliant. Let's go with this. Are you sure this is a good idea? You gotta learn to stand up for yourself. Uh, not sure I can do that. Even with how he's treating me. Stay with me, sweetheart. I'll show you how it's done. Should be safe. Now. Onward! Cut! That's a wrap for today. Amazing work from most of you. Not naming names, because I've already forgotten your names because you are worthless. Now get off my set! You really don't want to ride with me. You're nailing this material so far, man. Totally fucking killing it! Send you the location of the next shoot. Once you're there, we get the filming underway. Just come on back through craft services. Everyone here in the movie? Eh, some are, some aren't. Most of them are from different shows. Huh? What shows? I don't know. Take a look around if you want. For 
real. Wow! Look at this set! <sighs> and just like that, the magic is gone. You know how hard it is to shoot on top of a building? Makes sense financially. Yeah, but you can't throw people off this one. Grab your weapon before you head in! Places! And... Get you some! We must disable the mind control devices to stop the invaders from taking over the city. What will happen to the people if we fail? Their minds will be taken over. They will be forced to obey the invaders every command. I can't. I won't let this city down. If this city falls, the earth falls with it. Move. Hey, you're a pretty good shot. <laughs> Thanks. God damn it! Keep your ass in character, Quilana. Is it too much to ask that you do your job? But uh, I am giving you amazing direction. You should be thanking me every day of your life. Actually, let me handle this one. But wait, I'm supposed to. Fuck his script. All right, get back. I love watching you do that. Holy shit! I mean, um, we have to keep going. Our work isn't done yet. Hey, whatever you say, Quilana. Ready for more aliens? As long as he lays off me, yeah. Roll down! The next device shouldn't be far. Must be sad to be killing your own people. They've made their choice, and I've made mine. I cannot let them enslave this city. It's not just the city, it's the sit. Fuck! I mean, world! Shit! Sorry! you while you shut it down why don't you take this one try just like i did last time i i can try i'll keep them up
nicely done, Quilana. What the hell was that? You said you could bring more explosives. Damn it, stick to the script. I did it just like the last one. What's wrong with that? We already have to cut this out of the final edit. So stop screwing up and just let the star do the job. Jenny, forget about it. Let's just get through this scene, okay? I'll teach you that sometime. We need to find a way out of here. There's the databanks. On one of these computers is the code to the spaceships. We'll have to split up. That'll go faster. Split up? Fuck it. Head down that platform. Uh, we need to hurry. I'm not seeing it. Let's try down there. You take one and I'll take the other. Not here either. I'll try this next platform. You head up. Keep everyone away. Let's get to that ship. Cut! Set up the next shot! Are you serious? Replacements? Jenny, what are you doing? I am not getting replaced here. I worked my ass off for this part. I can't argue with that. They shooting another space movie here? Not that I know of. Huh. Must be something old then. I don't know. Looks like Mars, though. Okay, this next weapon will be perfect for a sake. <laughs> you know, let's just finish the scene so we can get the hell away from Jen. Put it on set and lift off. Get there fast and get out of here.
shit? Great. Now there's a force field. There's got to be a way to shut it off. So much for easy. Uh, who is she? Ah, the alien secret enforcer. Is she great? Maybe you could have sprung for a costume that fit her. Okay, let's go. down this generator. I'll have us through here. I love watching you do that. Thanks. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm right there with you. Crime always pays. Got one more huge scene to film, and this one's gonna be so over the top, I'm coining a new phrase for it. Exaggerial. Yeah. Now, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but trust me, you'll kill it. What gives you the right? Here's my nightblade soundtrack. <laughs>
ready to crush this final sequence? The aliens are invading, and you have to stop the mind control transmitters by uploading a virus into them. You even get to fly the spaceship. So, get in and get going. The script says you're the pilot and gunner. So, you know how to fly this, right? I think I can figure it out. I'm a natural at these things. And the locations of the transmitters? On the navigation computer. Here we go! Quilana, I'll destroy the shield generator to open a link to the transmitter. Then I'll upload the virus so we can shut these all down. Won't that kill your people? Yes. With their minds still connected to the hive, they too will die. This must be done for Earth. Uploading the virus now. I'll keep us safe. Don't worry. I know you will. say so but you Jackie you. look my name's Jenny and yeah I know what you think can we just get to the next scene now Fine. I want shots of that shit doing cool things you know flying by buildings through narrow areas shit like that let's see what you can really do with it should be easy enough About standing up for yourself? Felt good, didn't it? Yeah, well, he deserved it. Assholes like him always do. Still, thanks for the encouragement. What can I say? I'm a good role model. Action! Whoa, what is There's the second generator! You know what to do! Uploading. Hey, should I swing around so the camera can get a better angle of the ship? The fuck did I say? That's the last time you break character. I've had it with you extras. You and all the other actresses in this film are never finding one again. You're useless. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Really not our friend. I love watching you do that. Upload's done. On to the next. Okay, cut! Okay, go with something new here. I'm throwing in a reversal. I don't remember this in the script. Not that I remember the script that well, but... It's coming up soon. Just make it work. More guys to kill! Think they want us dead! And... Action! What the hell's going on? An attack from the steel port guy? Are you kidding me? What now? I'm taking them all out. I'm through playing around. Teach me that sometime. This is really starting to piss me off. I'm with you on that. We're rolling! This 
This is the last shield. Once it's down and the virus is in, we'll be able to end this thing once and for all. Beginning the upload. I'm beginning to think these aren't drones we're shooting. What? What'd you expect? It was easier to use the extra to fly these things. Saves money and they were just expendable workers anyway. Which means they're really trying to kill us so we don't kill them. That insane asshole's killing real people for a movie. No! Scene, the sooner I can go home and let off some steam. Doing a pretty damn good job of that here, Jenny. Okay, we're here. Set off the viruses. Executing. Roll film! Whoa, what's going on with this thing? Your ship is shutting down while in range of the viruses. Now, I want one more stunt, one more close flyby, only faster and with more intensity. This will be the best scene in the film. You're gonna kill it! He's out of his mind! Get us out of range of that shit. Damn it. Company's here. There, let's finish the scene and get the hell out of this ship. Yeah. Sure. Over here. The Earth is safe. Stupid motherfucking stupid ass. Quilana? What the fuck is happening up there? Jenny, say your goddamn line! You killed that son of a bitch. That's not your line! Oh, goddammit, are you even off book? Hey, Jenny, <laughs> you're, uh, getting crazy eyes again. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, talk to me. I'm tired. I'm tired of him trying to kill us. I'm tired of him being mean. And I'm tired of his stupid fucking scarf. Okay. It seems a little extreme, though. Just doing what you talk. Fair point. Ah, you already blew the tank. Go back to one. Are you dead? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Killing it.
guess that's a wrap. As leader of the Saints, you've been selected as this year's contestant for Genki Bowl 7. Please meet us as soon as you can, and good luck to you! sports fans and welcome to the craziest wildest bloodiest extravaganza outside of Jorez Genki Bowl 7 I'm Zach and you all know my tag team partner Bobby Bobby previous Genki Bowls have had no lack of surprises of the nastiest sort Zach and this year will be no different murder mayhem and fun are all just a big part of any Genki Bowl and the genius man cat has cooked up an exciting list of never before seen events that promise to be even deadlier than anything we've ever seen before oh, hey worse than the grizzly bear rodeo from Genki Bowl 4 there is absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> wow, I'm actually salivating. Oh my goodness. And as an added bonus, Bobby, we've just learned that the leader of the Third Street Saints will be taking part in today's festivities. Think they can keep the winning streak going, huh? We're about to find out. The games are going to begin, so let's get down there. And when I say down, we mean down to the action. Here we are, Genki fans, at Apocalypse Genki! Today's match was created by Angry Tiger, putting her own spin on the classic super ethical reality climax. That's right, Bobby, and I hear there's new things in store for our mascot. I think Tammy can fill us in on that. Tammy? Thanks, Bobby. In the <clears throat> deepest, darkest corners of the jungle lives a great warrior. Protected by fierce traps and mascot bodyguards, she... Whoa, hold on there, Tammy. What are you doing? Um, reading the script Angry Tiger handed me. She oh. handed you a script? And the best part's coming up. <clears throat> she keeps her minions in line through the threat of shark-infested waters. So beware, all who enter the jungle of the Angry Tiger. <laughs> well... That was entertaining. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs> You're welcome, Zach. Amazing. Sharks are a new addition to the Genki wheelhouse. Looks like those mascots better hope they don't fall in. <clears throat> Very impressive. With that, a hunter has been released. Another great burst of action by the contestant. I'd hate to be a mascot facing this contestant. That's some great action. 
They keep that up, they'll go home rich! Oh, oh, that'll ruin an outfit! Oh. <laughs> How's things behind the scenes, Tammy? I just spoke with one of the mascot trainers. And that ends the match! Genki Ball fans, Zack and Bobby here bringing you some exciting Genki Ball updates from the genius Professor. That's right, Zack. We've just received word that Professor Genki has decided, in honor of Genki Ball 7, to make a public appearance on the streets of Steelport. And I also hear that the Master of Ceremony will be escorted by none other than our current Genki Ball frontrunner, the leader of the Saints. If you want to meet the genius behind the epic extravaganza of bloodshed and carnage, then head to Leather and Lace. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up a gift suit for that special someone in your life. That's all from us. We'll be back later with more coverage from Genki Ball 7. You know, I could use a gift suit. Saints are gonna own this city.
Travis, you're stupid. Your presence is needed for the start of the next Genki Bowl 7 match, created by the Genki Girl Sexy Kitten. Please head there as soon as you're able so we can get underway. Out! Just missed me with that one. <laughs> Nothing slows me down. Right. Welcome, Genki Ball 7 fans, to the latest and greatest contest of guts, gore, and glory, courtesy of that crazy cat man, Professor oh, Enki. No! That's right, Zach. And today's show brings with it a very special surprise. Professor Genki's very own Genki girl, Sexy Kitten, has designed a brand new game for our contestant to play. And what a game it is. Here to tell us more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy. Thank you, Zach. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city and cause as much damage and mayhem as they can before time runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like Sexy Kitten definitely put her ball print on this show. <laughs> and that's not all, Bobby. The ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that, and the contestant will score big. Hmm, a mouse and a ball of yarn, huh? Is something the matter? No. Just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. You really don't, Zach. We never did find that mouse. 
This contestant is really starting to get the hang of things. Well, they should, Bobby. The leader of the Saints has been one of Genki's best contestants to date. After their performance on Super Ethical Reality Climax, I'd have to agree. The ease with which this Saint shot their way through the arena was inspiring. Indeed it was. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Are you sure those are goosebumps, Zach? <laughs> What else would they be? Zach, weren't you just telling me about some rash you and your wife got from a restaurant last week, right? Oh, that, uh, that wasn't from a restaurant, per se. Well, that's good. I have reservations there tomorrow night. You do? Well, then stay away from a waitress named Karen. Oh, wow. Therapeutic. Helmets are for pussies. Guess what? The professor thought you did such a fantastic job, he wants you to drive again. Remember, don't look him in the eye unless you want to wake up in a North Korean prison camp. win. Hey there, Genki Bowl fans. Are you ready for another surprise? Courtesy of Professor Genki himself. After his last public appearance, Genki has decided to stir up his adoring yet bloodthirsty fans yet again. And of course, the leader of the Saints, the champion so far here at Genki Bowl 7, will be accompanying him. I heard last time the crowds were ablaze with excitement. Literally, some people left with third degree burns. <laughs> Nothing like a little calamine lotion won't fix. So, sports fans, if you want to catch a glimpse of the genius man cat, hurry on down to Planet Saints right now. And don't forget to tune in for the next event here at Genki Bowl 7. Some people just can't fight.
fuck with the Saints. I appreciate this. I'll fight you if I have to. You piece of crap! Welcome back, Genki fans! It's time to watch as the leader of the Saints tears up the town once again for fun and profit. Fun is right, Zack. This giant ball of death yard seems to be the perfect way to cruise around the city of Steelport. But only in sexy Genki orgasm can you find such a mode of transportation. Outside of Genki Bowl 7, what's your favorite way to get around, Bobby? Well, that's easy. My helicopter. You aren't afraid of heights, I take it. If I have to choose between getting mutilated by the drivers in this city or a carefree flight with a view, I think the choice is obvious. But what if there's some sort of uh, malfunction that causes the chopper to go down? Parachutes are a wonderful invention, Zach. And if the chute fails? Try all you want, Zach. I'm still feeding you to work in the morning. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw you putting sugar in my gas tank last night. Nothing like a little carnage. Ooh, it's the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! This is therapeutic. Just salt in the earth. There's something very soothing about watching this saint at work. How are ear-splitting explosions and screams of agony soothing, Bobby? It's all about timing, Zach. With each new sound, it's like a symphony being played out for our fans. Then you and the fans must be tone deaf. I don't think that's what Sexy Kitten had in mind when she designed this course. Sometimes genius is discovered by accident. Look at how champagne came about. Bobby, are you saying you'd listen to a recording of this match in your car on your way to work in the morning? Absolutely. I would be a little worried about drifting off to sleep, though. How could that possibly be a worry? This sounds just like the streets of Steelport outside my window at night. Puts me right out. I'd be drifting off right now if it weren't for the same flow I just had. I wish I had a picture of this. Ah, this never gets old. Oh, 
Yes, they're certainly performed up to expectations, Zack. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Learn how to drive, idiot. These streets aren't safe. People in this town. your plate number no one beats a safe Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. If you like blood and mayhem with your game shows, you're in the right spot. Today's contestant is no stranger to anyone. That's right, Zach. After rising to fame as the leader of the Saints, our contestant has come to steal part and into the Genki arena. Well, whether you love, hate, or downright loathe the Saints, you have to respect this competitor. When it comes to destruction at the end of a smoking gun, this is a true pro. This is quickly becoming a performance for the record books. And that triggered the present. Having no trouble whatsoever finding the bonus targets. Now for our Genki and wrestling fans, we have some good news. Bobby and I will be ringside live at Murder Brawl 31. That's right, Zach. What would Murder Brawl be without the two of us providing the blow-by-blow -blow for those at home? Or without its biggest star, Eddie Kilbane Pryor, who will be returning to defend his long-standing championship title. Do you think Kilbane could take on Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax, Bobby? There is no question concerning Kilbane's toughness. But can he handle a gun? Well, that's a good point. Never seen Kilbane with a firearm before. He's and that concludes this round of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. This was exactly the kind of performance we expect from a gang lord. It was a focused campaign of bloody ruthlessness. And that's how we like it, Zach. Mm -hmm. That's how we like it. You need a new car. Stay on the road. Love to win. You can't kill this bitch.
It's a great day for PGSERC. It's always a great day to watch mascots get shot in the face, Zach. <laughs> right you are, Bobby. Today's contestant knows all about shooting people in the face. Usually, such violence would get you a cellmate named Buttercup and a fear of showers. But in this event, anything goes, as Professor Ginky loves to say. Murder time, fun time. Cash in pocket! Every contestant on Professor Genki should perform this well. We don't see a contestant dominate an arena like this often. Got to stay away from those unethical targets. Wish we had instant replay on that. This is like watching a non-stop highlight reel. The present just appeared in the arena. Time for the Hunter! This is the toughest part of the match! People will be talking about this round for a while. Anyone think about retiring after that? Oh! Is doing everything right. Pocket. Very impressive. Ah. We need more veteran gunslingers in this arena. I've been shopping for a new outfit for my anniversary, and I need some advice, Bobby. I hate to ask, but what are the choices? Well, I can't decide between the pirate look or the astronaut costume. For a party at an SM club, I'd go astronaut. Uh, I think the astronaut look isn't too conservative for safe word. Who cares? It's watertight and comes with gloves. Definitely no stranger to handling a gun. More hot the present just appeared in the arena. They keep that up, they'll go home rich. Zach, I hope you and your wife have a lovely anniversary. Well, thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. You know, you are more than welcome to join us. Awkward. <laughs> well, my wife loves the pony cars, but I hear... The contestant is through the exit. That's another exciting chapter of Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax in the books. Any round with the Saints leader has become a must-see event. Let's hope this contestant stays around a long time. Think I need a helmet? There are cars everywhere, and you take my bike. The Saints are gonna own this city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Today's event should be a classic, Bobby. That's right, Zach. It's a must-see for Genki enthusiasts. We've seen today's contestant before. It's the leader of the world-famous Saints. This criminal kingpin turned media star has excelled in several matches already. This should be the toughest arena this contestant has faced yet. Get ready for all the fun of bullets and body bags, folks. Let's watch the action. The Saints' capo is having no trouble with this arena.
We don't see a contestant dominate an I arena like this often. Every contestant on Professor Genki should perform this well. It's been a long time since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting. And now, the present is on the map. This saint is taking care of business. That's some great action. Cash in pocket! Quite a performance so far. Here comes the hunter. Those guys seem bigger every round. I never knew the saints were so ethical. This is really amazing shooting. People will be talking about this round for a while. You can't just shoot every target in PGSERC. Contests and not Professor Genki should perform this well. We don't see a contestant dominate an arena like this. And now the present is on the map. Yikes! I hope the Saints have good health insurance. The contestant has left the arena. That was some incredible shooting. The winnings from this round are impressive. Cash like that will buy a lot of hookers and bobbleheads for the Saints. Got any change on you? Cash in pocket! Outfit. Crime always pays. You won't get far. The leader of the Saints is back for more. That's right, Bobby. It's time for another round of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. So far, this contestant has done pretty well, Zach. Well, this will be the toughest arena so far for the Saints Capo. More space, more mascots, more traps. It's a beast, all right. If anyone can get through with both legs still attached, it's this contestant. That's some great action. People will be talking about this round for a while. I see the present, Zach. Don't no love from the fire trap. <laughs> they 
Rookie bat, our Belgo-Home Rich. In pocket. We don't see a contestant dominate an arena like this often. Pow. People will be talking about this round for a while. I see the present, Zach. This is really amazing shooting. Okay, here we go. And here comes the big guy. That hunter doesn't look happy. This saint is doing everything right. We don't see a contestant dominate an arena like this often. Oh, a mistake like that would make anyone frustrated. Wish we had instant replay on that. I see the present, Zach. This is turning into an exceptional match. This save is making short work of those targets. Oh, the contestant is through the exit. to the best. Genki! 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 Greetings, Genki Ball fans! The final match in Angry Tigers Apocalypse Genki is about to begin! Here we go. I'm hoping for more mascots being ripped apart by man-eating shark sack. <laughs> You mean mascot-eating sharks, don't you, Bobby? Well, now you're splitting hairs. Oh. You mean fur. Oh, that was terrible. Hi, thank you. Okay, take us away from this conversation, Tammy. Well, Bobby, several sharks are actually having digestive problems with the fur from the mascot outfit. Oh, God. I guess there's no escaping the truth here. Sharks and mascots are truly star-crossed lovers. But no less entertaining for the fans. Right you are there, Bobby. Now that's the way it should be done. Cash in pocket! Joker! Joker! Ah! 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 <laughs> so, Bobby, have you ever been in the jungle before? Oh, sure. Back when I was seeking fortune and glory as a treasure hunter. You bet. <laughs> You made your living hunting down lost relics? And starting the occasional junta. Made a lot of Looks like the present is up for a contestant. performance quite a performance so far another great burst of action by the contestant the Saints capo is having no trouble with this arena spectacular performance I'd hate to be a mascot facing this contestant Cash in pocket! <laughs> A shocking turn of events. <laughs> That's it! They did it! Tammy, 
Tolliver here. The next match is ready when you are. I expect you'll be a natural at it. Oh, you just gonna run? Welcome to the Sad Panda Sky Blazing! Professor Genki's own Sad Panda has created this all new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurtin' on our contestants. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? The panda suit allows the contestant to fly forward faster than normal, keeping them up for a longer time. There's nothing more majestic than seeing a panda in flight. Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Boy, it's a metaphor, Zach. I don't think it is. Come on. Now, who's being ridiculous now? No one beats the same. There sure is a lot of debris falling into the streets below, Bobby. Let's check now with Tammy Tolliver to get the crowd's reaction. Tammy, give it to us. Uh, Bobby, things down here are a combination of mass chaos and kleptomania. Most of the shankings, however, appear to be over the flamethrowers, which kept the balloons in the air. I imagine those are real crowd pleasers in Steelport. <laughs> yes, in fact, several people are heading towards one now. Oh, a businessman just beat down a hobo with his briefcase. A sight not on common to these parts. Then an old lady clubbed him with her cane. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Well, this lady, oh, wait, looks like a hipster in a Third Street Saints hoodie just falcon punched her from behind. Wow, guess our contestant has some fans down below, Bobby. That's right, Zach, and they're gonna have a lot more if this Genki Bowl lead holds up. Zach and Bobby? Yes, Tammy. I'm being told several of the mascots are now leaving the rooftops. That's not going to make the professor happy. No, it won't. Genki may hunt them down personally. Maybe they decided leaping to their deaths was better than waiting to be cut to shreds by our contestants. Oh, well, that solves the problem, I guess. Don't fuck with the Saints.
That's some skill our contestant is showing today, Zach. We've seen this saint shoot, and now we've seen this saint fly. And frankly, I'm excited to see what's next, Bobby. I hope it's a cooking event, because after this, all I can think about are delicious panda dogs. I am starving, Zach. I'm late! I'm driving! Welcome back to Sad Panda's very own Sad Panda Sky Blazing here at Genki Ball 7. We've seen our contestant complete the first level of this course already. And just as expected, this saint can soar with the best of them. No doubt, but eager to please the fans, Professor Genki has ordered the difficulty ramped up this second time around. Speaking of eager to please, let's check in down on the streets with our girl. Tammy, what do you got? I'm standing on a rooftop downtown with executives from several Steelport banks. Champagne is being served by scantily clad women, while large bets are being placed on how this saint will perform today. What's the spread for today's match? Only those buying in are giving the numbers, but this wager may explain the seven jumpers that were scraped off the street after the last match, Zach. Ooh, ouch! So that's why my bank closed down. <sighs> that wasn't much of a challenge. beginning to feel bad for Sad Panda, Zach. Why is that? Well, well, how would you like your face to be synonymous with unethical? But the unethical targets are the ones usually avoided, Bobby. So you're saying it's better to be ignored? No wonder she's so depressed. You know, Zach, this may be the longest time in the air any contestant on Genki Bowl has spent. What about the Gorilla Trapeze from Genki Bowl 5? You know, the only real air time in that was the two seconds of free fall between fending off attacks from monkeys with machetes and falling to the carpet of buzz saws. Here, you don't have that same risk. Good point, Bobby. You don't, unless, of course, the parachute doesn't work. Or a plane flies into them. Right you are. Or let's say wild panda hunters on the ground start shooting. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay. Now you're stretching it. There 
here's the end of the match again, Bobby. Genki is sure to be happy with how well Sad Panda's course has been a crowd pleaser. And our contestant is sure to be happy with that result. Thanks for watching Genki Bowl 7, everybody. See you next time. Bye now. The most amazing individual performance I've ever seen since Ping Pong Polly were Thursday nights at Safeway. Oh, I remember that. Hey, Bobby, how about we go down to the lovely Tammy Tolliver, who is standing by with our new champion, Tammy. Thanks, Zach. You know, over the years, you've had your doubters. Some have said you were just riding on the coattails of more accomplished people. Is this vindication for you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, not just for me, but for all the kids out there watching at home thinking that They'll never make something out of themselves. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell those kids, no matter what, work hard and anything is possible. Oh, what a great message to end on. Well, Zach, I... Hey, so I, I spent years honing my craft. Murdering, robbing, assaulting, more murdering, uh, light treason, murdering again. All so that when I got my shot, I would be ready. Uh, that's, uh, enlightening. But what... You gotta follow your dreams, kids. Because if you don't, you know what happens? You're gonna become your parents. How fucking depressing would that be? Think about it.